Hello and welcome. I am Ronki, your GM. And joining me today in order of their Hi, character Ronky. avatars, we have uh, missing someone. Yeah. Good well, timing. We would have had Mel, uh, Gigaman, FX Engineer, and Rigel Kent. Today we embark on our Star Wars campaign titled Vanguard, using the very awesome and versatile GURP system by Steve Jackson Games. Not everyone can watch the live stream, but worry not, our sessions are available on YouTube and as audio-only podcasts. You can find the links in the video description. If you find our content appealing and engaging, we kindly request that you show your support by liking this video and subscribing to our Twitch and YouTube channels. Before we dive into the action, does anyone have any character business they'd like to address? Huh? Uh, did he drop out for everybody or just me? Yeah. And it dropped out for me too. He dropped out. He said, before we dive in, yeah, and then. Can you guys hear me? Yeah, yes. I can hear you now. Yeah, I, I hear you. I don't know. I, I just, um, my game crashed or something. <laughs> well, because of it's course. not a game. Feel Thanks free to, to close that on your end. Um, hey, Ronky, I, I have some uh, character business I'd like to run by you just quickly. Sure. Um, so I, I got some of those uh, items that, that I told you about, the communicator, some electronic stuff. It was all like the Galley Class 4 stuff. Um, but I thought that since I got the communicator, I should put a point into my communication skill, electronics operation communication. If that would be okay, I figured if we had a few weeks to buy it, that I he would have spent some time learning how to use them. Uh, have you rolled a default at all during that time? He's used communicators. We've been communicating, but you haven't had us roll for anything. All right, um, that's fine. I just figured in case you did, I might want to have at least one point into it. All right, that's fine. You can add that, add that skill. Cool. Thank you. But in generally, to get a new skill, you have had to use it during the session, um, as a default or something like that, or had some training in between sessions. Um, any other character business? None on my end. None Not here. Really. I don't think we had anyone injured. Oh no, we had luck injured from last week. Did we do first yeah, aid? No, we didn't have time. Okay. Oh, he just flesh wounded that anyway. Well, still. we're still injured. Yeah, once we get uh, someplace safe, then you know, I'll like take the uh, the, the the arm armor off and you know sterilize the the grays and do all that stuff and get some back to get some back to Chupa. all right so uh quick recap you guys were investigating the uh, city of palace um they went dark and the uh, you know official explanation for that is that the environmental shields had a catastrophic failure and the city was evacuated. You guys turned, didn't quite believe that story and decided to investigate yourselves. And you found out that the environmental uh, shields had in fact failed, but due to some um, investigation by Tina, I think it was, you had de determined that there was some sabotage involved. Then we shot and did some stormtroopers. You did. Um, you found out that you were being watched or followed. You then um, began to chase this figure. And just as you found him, you guys were attacked by a patrolling squad of stormtroopers, which you managed to vanquish. Um, you did. You departed the scene fairly quickly uh, as you could hear the sounds of an Imperial Walker approaching. From the North Ridge. 
the guy that you had encountered was uh, Ronan Voss. This gentleman. This guy. And he said that there's a, a bunch of people that refuse to uh, refuse to evacuate and chose to stay at which point you have been told that the empire has been hunting down and exterminating those those people um, and there's a few did you actually share the image whoops sorry that guy <laughs> thought we were just using our imagination well you um, said this guy and i'm like it didn't show up, so I'm like, I'm gonna click on the the Twitch stream to see. And there it is. <laughs> it's been like two weeks, so Rocky has completely forgotten how to run the game. <laughs> that's right. That's that's more than last week, so um, nothing's guaranteed anymore. I would give you more crap if that hadn't frequently happened to me. So um, he told you that there's a bunch of them hiding out. Um, and he would take you to somewhere safe if you wanted to follow him. And I think that's about where we left it. Roughly, yeah. Yeah, that said, that sounds about right. So, luck. Um, you're, you're running this outfit. Is there any plans to follow this guy? Or are you going to... Um, um, well, we were trying to find, uh, find out what we could and having a local who at least has you know been dealing uh, dealing with this stuff or dodging this stuff is probably a good idea so as long as we keep our heads on a swivel i don't see why we wouldn't might get uh, some valuable intel that way well we were in a hurry there too yep all right so you will follow this guy can i get uh a group stealth roll and I think we had established that it's not plus one for everyone with the skill. Uh, it is actually just minus one for everyone without the skill. And I think we'd also determine that everybody has the skill. Ye yes. I believe that yep. is correct. Pina so Pina has it. I will so get I've... a group stealth roll from your leader or whoever's going to be leading the stealthiness this will represent how well you the sneakier guy this will represent how well you navigate the city without running into further issues right uh, was i yeah i was the best so it is actually a bonus add a bonus equal to the number of people who know it and a penalty equal to the group size oh, that's interesting right. so it evens out that's different Damn, but it doesn't matter when he margin crits by 10. Well, yeah. He's a leaf in the wind. Well, you guys can quite happily walk down the street and walk right past a bunch of troopers and they don't even notice you. They're going to be doing that. We're all, we're going to be like cool, stealthy guys. Right. You do not... hand and arm signals and stuff. It's not literally minus one for everybody that doesn't have the skill. It just ends up being minus one for everybody that doesn't have the skill. Well, no, I'd say... It does. In this case. Always. Yeah, because... You either have it or you don't. You get a bonus if you have the skill. So if you have six people and right. four yeah. of them have the skill, you've got a plus four. But since there's six people, you have a minus six for the size. So that's effectively minus, yeah. Uh, which which book is that? Less space if they just wrote it that way. Which book did you grab that at? He made one in this action. I'm pretty sure they're all the same, though. That's a lie. You made it up. Action two, sorry. I know they have that. I in, think I've uh, also seen, I've seen a version where they do like an average of the group. The so. well, there are some where they do that, yeah. Well, if that's the case, then they can't all be the same. All right, so eventually you will be led into a part of the city that um, is a little run down, and 
Um, you sneak through a few little crawl spaces and find yourself in a uh, yeah, set of narrow tunnels, sort of alleys and such. There's a few people that uh, stand guard with um, mostly civilian uh, rifles. There's no real heavy, heavy weaponry to be seen. Well, there is now because we toted that blaster, uh, that heavy blaster repeater thing. That's right. <laughs> and someone comes up to this guy and says, what's going on? Who are these people? And Ronan will reply saying, it's okay. I ran into We're a tourists. I ran into a patrol of troopers. These guys uh, helped me. If it wasn't for them, I'd be a dead man. At which point you are allowed uh, sort of past the guards and you know enter this section proper and you you count maybe you know a dozen people. Um, there are some people that are wounded. Um, you know, there's some rudimentary bandaging. Um, Bosco, you'll see that, uh, you know, any medical attention that's been given to wounded people is not from skilled practitioners. Bosco, do it to it. What, do you want me to bust out the, the cannon? No. Uh, <laughs> I'm scared, no, sorry. Uh, the, the, there, there's wounded, so, you know, I figured uh, you could probably jump in and start doing that uh while we get try to get the lay of the land um and i want to say that i'm trying to check that out right now what the because we grabbed the utility belts uh from the the stormtroopers and those generally have med kits on them so did we ever get a listing of what those contain should make a parcel for a utility belt. We've said that before. Damn it! I thought I thought I had that. I'm I'm looking. I do think you said a head bandage spray at the very least. Yeah, because that's uh, I don't know if it's like technically bandage spray. It's but, back uh, to spray or whatever. It's, but it's basically just the uh, bandage spray, but the belt. There it is. Uh, stormtroopers were equipped with the utility belt. This would include a high tension wire, two grappling hooks, four spare blaster rifle packs, three ion flares, energy rations, a spare comm link, three water packs, two med packs, two blast energy sinks, a thermal detonator, combat deionizer. I don't know what that is. Wrist binders, electronic locks, scrambler slash descrambler. So the, the med packs are probably just TL11 first aid kits. I think that's how I treated it. Yeah, that works. And these are the survivors, right? Is that, uh, sorry, sorry, I might have missed that part. You said the survivors from yeah, from the locals from the town. Well, holdouts, people that refused to be evacuated. Well, you know, I'm getting the orders here from Locke. Um, Bosco will attend. He will do some triage. Whoever looks to be like you know, most serious injuries. He's not going to use any resources unless he determines that it's needed. Um, and he will just you know, basically start attending to the injured people. What did you say so the totals were? To find... Totals what? The uh, uh, people here? The number of people here. I think he said 12. Around a dozen. Um, I right. think what he'll do is he'll grab the least injured person and say like, hey, you, like, give them instructions like, Tell me who's the most injured, have them come to me, and he'll set up like a little station. Well, and, the, um, the most injured are in sorry, like sorry. stretcher beds or rudimentary stretcher beds. You can see there's bandaging. Um, yeah, some people have their heads bandaged. Uh, there's arms. There's, you know, a guy that's um, missing a leg, and you can see that there's probably some infection that's beginning to set in. 
Yeah, so I figure he he may end up needing to use some of the the, the, the supplies. That shouldn't be a problem. Uh, and looking well. looking around, you see that there is a sort of a lack of quality medical gear as well. Yeah. Well, while he's doing that, I'll engage the the other guy or the the guy uh, that Ronan brought us in there and identify ourselves as well. I guess you could call us partisans. We were investigating why the why Paulus went silent because it didn't sound believable what the Empire was saying. Well, the guy will say, uh, "We've tried to get some communications out, but either no one's responding, or they're not uh, not getting out at all." We have noticed that the comms tower is uh, is damaged and uh, not functional. We that was the one we looked at. That's the one you looked at, and you could see that uh, right. it had been obviously exploded. Right. So luck will probably respond. It's like not damaged, sabotaged. We took a look at it on our way in. He shakes his head. I don't know why. Why would they do this? I'm more interested in finding out what the Empire is doing here. They they're not. They don't do things without a purpose. Well, they've been systematically hunting us down. Their patrols have continued um, for these these months, and uh, it's getting harder and harder to avoid them. If it's not uh, probe droids, then it's patrols of pro uh, troopers and uh, scouts. Okay. Um, do we have a a map of well, actually i guess it wouldn't have been that difficult to have obtained uh that kind of stuff beforehand like what what Paulus looked like before we even came here you know sort of bring that up and say uh you know try to find out it's like do you know where the empire is headquartering out of i mean if we could get some eyes on that that might uh identify what exactly they're they're up to well he says Prior to the environment shields failing, the Empire never really had a presence here. Um, mostly Novasek took care of everything and we hardly ever saw the Empire. I guess we're not a big enough, um, big enough establishment to warrant a permanent presence. Right, I, I understand that. I mean, now, I mean, surely you've got uh some idea of the the where they are most concentrated he will shrug and says unfortunately most of our activity has been running and hiding um we do see their patrols but we haven't seen any sort of concentration in the city itself okay um as he says this i'm gonna look uh look around at the the, the various refugees I'm going to try to identify the one that looks like uh, the youngest, not, I don't want to say youngest, but I want to say like, you know, the teenager who's got that sullen look in their eyes, like, yeah, screw this noise. All right, give me a perception roll. You will pick someone out that looks to be, looks to fit that bill. Right. Um, so I'm going to probably, I, I suspect, I'm, I'm thinking it's probably going to be either Nim or, mm, yeah. What's, um, what is Nim's general hockey skills like? Is he decent with that sort of thing? He's all right. Because I'm thinking, uh, probably want to just sort of like, you know, nod to Nim and then like, you know, glance at that dude, just sort of like, you know, with the, the, the clear sort of, uh, you know, chat with that dude and see if you can find something out. Because Lux thinking here is, if this kid's like a, a teenager, he's not just going to just do nothing. Teenagers don't like doing that. Well, they used to not like doing that. And this is uh, the sort of 70s, the pseudo 70s. All right, okay. So, Nim, you'll go talk to the guy. Bosco, you start tending to some of these wounded um, you'll sort of crouch next to the bed of a guy that looks looks to be 
most messed up. Um, he's currently being tended by someone. Um, when you crouch down, the person says, um, the guy is currently unconscious. And he says, I don't think he's going to survive the night. Uh, we don't have a doctor and our supplies of medicine is running really low. Right, that's when um, go gets that chance where it's like, well, you got one now. Yep. Um, so I'll just nod at him and pull out my med scanner. I'd like to do a diagnosis. And as I'm doing that, I ask him, what, so what's, what's wrong with him? You know, besides the obvious. What happened? Says uh, uh, most. The one that's missing the leg? Uh, no. This one has several. Uh, blaster wounds and you know looks like some serious burns there is definitely some infection that is setting in and the burn treatment that they've applied is uh, not the sort of treatment that you would you should have done if you were actually a trained professional okay uh, uh, can I do a diagnosis on him Yes, you can. So I'm going to use the, the med scanner, which gives me a three, a plus three to, plus three to diagnosis rolls. It's a uh, detects internal injuries, genetic problems, diseases, implants, and more. <clears throat> All right, you pull it out, press the button, um, and start scanning. I guess you, uh, what do you need to make an electronics operation? Medical, I think it's. Uh, I'm just doing a diagnosis. Yeah. I think you still need to make the skill roll to get the full benefit. All right, you want me to roll electronics operation medical, and then I roll yep. my diagnosis? Uh, no, you've already rolled that, so. All right, so you will get the plus three bonus. So you succeed by four, and you can see that there's, you know, some significant injuries, some internal injuries and infection. If you have physician, um, oh, and you've also got the burns. If you have physician, you can make the roll, otherwise first aid. Okay. Um, am I treat, what am I doing, like treating for shock or do you, you want me to do like no, some sort this of is, uh, long-term care? This is long-term care. A successful roll will give him a bonus on his health roll to not die tonight. Oh, is he um, mortally wounded? He's not mortally wounded, but he's... I'll make a health roll, and he'll be at a bonus if you succeed your medical attention. He, oh, if he succeeds, he gets one hit point. Is that what you're well, looking Well, no, at? no, this is just going to be a, a survive or die roll. Oh, okay. Death save. Uh, let me just look at my... Before I draw, I'm gonna ch check my drugs out real quick. Um, I have my suitcase doctor with me. Oh no, I don't have that with me. Too heavy. All right, so I'm gonna give him some medication to help him relax and calm down. Not necessarily gonna help my role or not, but just a role play. And Rolling on, you said physician, not surgery, just regular care. He, he's human, right? Uh, human, sure. <laughs> he's Star Wars human. I think your physician skill is sufficient for humanoid. Um, in the Star Wars universe with the, you know, the sheer number of different aliens, we could assume physician is going to be a, a wild card skill in that sense. Yeah, I do have uh, the basic equipment for a physician, so no modifiers, but I don't have like my my lab, obviously, so I'll just roll in. All right, so he's going to get a plus two on his health roll. He has health 10. I roll 12 or less, unfortunately. He dies. <laughs> unfortunately, he's going to die despite your help. 
Well, actually, no. That's not a that's not a death. That's a mortally wounded. So, if you guys are still around, um, the next day, then you might be able to save him. Yeah. So I'll I'll put him. I'll give him some. Uh, I'll give him a pill. I said like, if he wants to take this, it'll help him go to sleep. I told him I've done the best that I can. Um, he's got really serious injuries, so I'm not sure it's going to be enough without proper medical care. So I kind of give him that doctor speech and, you know, I move on to the next patient. All right, just give me a regular physician role and this will be how well you tend to the other wounded. Not a problem. You start tending to them and it's going to take, it's going to take you a couple of hours to, you know, fix everyone up, at least get them better care than they're currently getting. Um, uh, so, or Nam, are we trying to be like, what's the words, um, undercover here? Like, should I be saying, "Hey, I'm, you know, I'm Doctor Bosco, blah blah blah," or or not? Because if we're not trying to hide it, I will say that just so that people My will remember. My general me. recommendation would be that you don't use your name while we are at, you know, on any sort of op. Honestly, everybody should have some sort of face covering uh, or, or, you know, just or something. But simply because if somebody knows your name and they get captured later and they're like, oh, yeah, these group of rebels, they had uh, some famous doctor with them. And they raid our warehouse and we're done. Yep. Shenanigans and hijinks ensue. Okay, so my good deeds are... Not going unnoticed, but not identified. They don't know it's me. The people so are very appreciative. They are very appreciative. Um, you're the only person that actually knows what they're doing. So it's a... Uh, I mean, I've got first aid, but... Well, of, of the group that are hiding out here. So that alone is a uh, morale boost. Uh, what was Tina going to do? Uh, I was going to have her double check and make sure that they don't have like, you know, any active tech that's sort of like transmitting or bleeding information or anything like that, that the, the imps could use to triangulate where these people are. Yep. She can work on that. And OPSEC. she, um, She's also going to just keep an eye out for stuff that's just broken that she can fix real quick to help him out. And last thing I want to do after she's done with the first two things is I want her to get a hold of one of, if, if the Stormtrooper little uh, packs that we took have like a communicator in them, um, she'd like to take one and see if she can tinker with it so that we can listen in to their movements and maybe help us yeah, that's, figure that's out where they're coming from. The, uh, that's why I generally extract the active comm links from their helmets. Hmm. You need a frequency hopping program or something like that on a data pad. Yep. So something like that. All right. Uh well, give me a electronics op communications role. Ah, uh, my dice are here. You're looking around. You don't seem to see... They don't have a great deal of stuff here. Um, they've got a few, like, portable generators. Um, not quite gonk uh, walking power packs, but they've got portable generators uh, or portable power packs that provide lighting and uh, power here with the communications um, they do have a radio it is currently not transmitting it is off the uh, guy as you're sort of inspecting it will say it's no use we've we've tried um, we haven't been able to get a, any communications out or at least no one's responding Okay. Um, but it's she... it's not transmitting as far as you can tell. Okay. Can she look over it and see? I guess that would have been an operation thing. Look to see if there's something like broken, obviously. Or was that the role that she failed? 
Uh, looking it over, if you want to see if it's functional, that would be electronics repair. Okay, and she's going to take a little extra time as well, if needed. All right, I'll, I'll give you up to plus five. You don't need it. Not you look it over. You look it over quickly, and you can see that it's in uh, working order. Okay, good deal. So she she did that. She'll um, didn't really see anything else that needed repair. So she's going to start working on trying to access like audio only of like stormtrooper movements in communication in the area to see if we can start trying to figure out where they're coming from. All right. Um, but in looking around, you can see random things to repair. Uh, that's not a problem at all, finding something. So if you, if Tina feels the need to tinker, uh, there's plenty of things that, yeah, could do with some attention. Oh, yeah, then she'll do that first. All right, so you find a, a droid that's currently in bits and you realise it can be, you know, put back together uh, fairly easily and you just go about fixing stuff until um, mentioned otherwise. Yep, and she starts, uh, when she starts working, she goes into full focus mode and... If anybody needs her, you're going to have to, like, snap her out of it. All right. And, Nim, you're going to speak to this teenager. Yeah. Nothing fancy. Hey, kid, you see where these, uh, where the imps camp out? Where do they park that walker? Give me a reaction roll. Add or subtract any modifiers that are yeah, appropriate. Do that. Uh, unfortunately, uh... Apparently, I lied. I actually kind of suck at this. <laughs> awesome. What What's that the D6 for? That's annoying. That was supposed to have actually put the description on it. You can, of course, substitute a um, influence role for a good reaction if you want. Yeah. Unfortunately, he's not a, an underworld character that I'm aware of, so uh, it would be fast talk only. No. Uh, the die roll is to determine whether or not uh, he finds my mouthiness annoying. Mouthiness? It's quirk. All right, so on a six, what happens? It applies. So he's annoyed. Uh, again, I think that's all that's going to apply, unless he's particularly thin-skinned. Because I'm going to roll really well right now. All right. So, poor reaction. Well, to be fair, we're here to rescue them, so that might get me something. He says, um, I don't know. They're not in the city, so they're coming from somewhere outside the city. Well, but there's patrol. Bad. I've seen patrols in here all the time. They come from any particular direction. He will just sort of shrug. Go. Yeah. I don't know. How many walkers? I don't know. One, two. Maybe it's the same one. Never seen two in the same place. Can't say I have, but I try to avoid them. They're noisy buggers. Um, prefer to stay away. Try to stay out of getting in a fight since uh, Pa died. Yeah, we just have to fly it out of here. And let's see what else. Um, so they're not in town, if we can call it that, which makes sense because this town is way too small. But if they're coming in from outside of town, especially with a walker, it's going to be difficult to miss. But they have been fairly relentless in trying to find us. I don't know how much longer... We're going to be able to last here. Do you know if there's any help coming? And he sort of looks over to the, the wounded that Bosco's tending to. Your help has arrived. He looks at you and says, You're it? That's all? Well, we're, we're better than we look. He uh, just sort of nods his head and says, Okay. About right then. So. 
about right then, like as the kid looks around, uh, Tina is over there trying to tinker with the droid, and all you see are sparks, and she goes, "Ow!" Is Tina attractive or anything like that? She's um, pink. Nope, she is pink. But he's a teenager, right? He's a teenager. Um, Tina, give me a reaction roll. Need to find out if he wants to get his hands on her circuits. <laughs> okay. Um, so the kid will look over and he'll say, you all right? I'm good. I got it. And all you see is like a gloved hand just kind of waving from behind a behind the droid. And a wall of smoke. Then he'll then he'll turn back to uh Nim. Yeah, says, don't get any ideas, kid. The girl likes power tools, if you know what I mean. <laughs> what the hell do you mean? I'm dying. Oh my god. The kid really you see something else in to 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 uh the Duras than it does the humans. You see the kid sort of you know, react like he's being busted, um, staring. And then he gets and confused. He goes, what? N no. What? Then, uh, So, these guys have been hitting here for months, and how many have they killed, if any? Have these guys killed of the enemy, or the... Out, yeah. If you ask the kid, neutralized might be a better word. If you ask the kid, he says, "It's not been real good. Um, we lose a lot more of our guys than theirs. We're we're pretty much running and hiding now. There's not enough of us left to fight back. We tried. We took out some, but there's just too many. Yeah, just wondering how many they've actually got sitting over here." just picking at survivors in this facility. Well, I'm just envisioning that Luck is having this same argument with their uh, with their boss. Uh-huh. There's a gather information role in action, um, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, well, it, I think it just talks about social engineering. I don't think it's specifically a gather information the way you mean it. But let me see, since I got it open here. Is there anything else that people are doing? Yeah, like you're Luck just talking to them? Yeah, Luck is uh, trying to get a grasp on the kind of tactics these people are using. Obviously, he's going to be going, yeah, you're, you're, you're doing it all wrong. You shouldn't be trying to get involved in a uh, stand-up fight with stormtroopers, not with your uh, level of gear here. You need to be utilizing guerrilla tactics, uh, ambush, hit and run, you know, strike when you outnumber them and then retreat as soon as you have some down. Don't, don't go for the kill uh, in this case. Well, he will explain that uh, they've been trying to fight back. Um, their numbers have been dwindling over time. They haven't had much success against the, the troopers. Um, he'll say, he'll tell you that our weapons don't seem to be able to penetrate their armor in some cases. Um, and every time we lay an ambush, the troopers will turn on us um, and drive us back. That's it's, what they're trained to do. It's kind of hopeless. We we don't know what we're doing here. Well, luckily but I do. This is this is our home, and we're not leaving. So going over the map with this dude, I'd like to sort of map out, uh, no pun intended, uh, the, the kind of locations that he's aware of that they've had these skirmishes and ambushes and sort of uh, get a better grasp of, of that. Uh, uh, because ultimately what I'm, I think I'm trying to do is with the information that I'm getting from them, is ultimately get a opportunity to do an intelligence analysis chest check. All right, you can do that. You will gather uh, intel. You can certainly use your 
uh, tactics planning points if you have any left um why would tactics planning points work in that case for bonuses and stuff yeah but that's for that's for us bringing stuff into the equation in this case i'm just trying to get information i could see maybe tactics being a an assist on the intel analysis chat well, test that's what i'm talking about you can use okay. your tactics points for that oh, but you've I only you've only got one so I just as soon use the actual tactic skill to uh, as a uh, assist. All right. Complimentary I'll... skill. That's the word I was thinking. Uh, oh, phrase I was thinking. That'll of. work. All right. Complimentary skill. Let's see how the tactics is success by four. So that will give me a plus one. And then roll your intelligence analysis. Yep. 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 Uh, let's see. There aren't any additional bonuses you can get out of intel analysis is there holy crap i don't have the basic book open what the heck's up with that so you were talking about having mapping of the facility but do we have any sort of mapping available for the uh, surrounding area because if well, they're it's, it's a planet i'm sure they're gonna have that that kind of I, information. i'm assuming so but uh i don't know i don't know how it's available in this setting this isn't like a shadow run where i know we got satellite maps so we can just get online at any rate, intelligence analysis is success by three. Okay. You will have some maps of the canyons, but they're not they're not like super satellite stuff. And I think if you recall, there is an absence of satellites here. You know, keeping that in mind, I think I know what uh, one of the things I need to that Luck will end up probably wanting to do in his off time. Well, not off time, but not on mission. So if I can get a hold of a speeder, I could take this crappy droid of mine and basically start mapping the area out. Not this area, but the immediate area around uh, the, the primary capital. No, I was just thinking that lack of satellites you could take a droid give him a hand thruster with enough uh with enough juice and just fly out and plop him in geostationary orbit with a pair of macro binoculars and now i'm like in the process of looking at what this mark four is capable of flight planetary that's weird all right Radiation so power. Sealed, parabolic hearing, protected hearing, protected vision, have zoom, telescopic vision too. Hey, wow, I could do that with him. Park him in orbit. You'd need more than telescopic two to get any real information. Well, I'll I'll have Tina add a telescope to him. Should be easy enough. The damn macro binoculars have like a 128x, or or I think uh, the one that Bosco had was 256. Uh, Star Wars tech. And I did go back and check that. Now that's just TL11, uh, GURPS tech. You gotta remember, Star Wars is, um, so 1970s sci fi tech. Yeah, well, if it's different from the, uh, Ultra Tech book, then, uh, we need to do that. Right, so your intelligence analysis. You will sit down, pour over the information and what maps you have, um, and you will be able to um, not divine, but work out that the empire, oh, sorry, there's a detail that I did forget to mention to you. Um, the guys tell you on some occasion, their guys have been taken prisoner. Interesting. Uh, so you will be able to work out that the troopers are definitely performing um, extermination. They are sort of running extermination ops. They're here to make sure that everyone is dead. Um, it would appear that they have the exits of, uh, of this place under control such that no one can leave. And then you have the uh, troopers doing patrols, tracking down people. They've got you know probe droids scanning out 
potential survivors and then hunting them down, exterminating them. Their base of operations is clearly not in the city and looking around, there's several mines um, and you would you would sort of work out that most likely their base of operations is one of the mining nearby mining operations. It's that one. Uh, with the success by three, we'll say you have narrowed it down to a potential two. Yeah, I can probably say in, in that case, it's like, all right, the, the troopers react the fastest on this side uh, that are closer to those things. Interesting. Can we have so I'm going to find out uh, from uh, the these guys if they know what is at that particular uh, that or the, these two. What uh, are, are are you know? Is there anything that makes them stand out from the uh, the, the other various mines in the area? Is there anyone that hasn't made a roll yet? Um, let's have Tina make this roll. Give me a universal universe reaction roll to see if these guys have extra infos. AKA the GM wants this to fail. Well, no, he knows what how you roll, so this is a universe reaction roll. That's not your dice. <laughs> uh, they'll say there's. Yeah, Bosco dropped his reconnecting. I got kicked, I got kicked out. The, um, the guys will say, as far as I can tell, all the mines are the same. It's, uh, you know, McCoxit mines here. Right. Well, at some point I'm going to have to get eyes on recon. Maybe have to go up there at some point, get a look. Uh, that reminds me. Damn it, I should have put that back on. When I was originally making the character, I, given the fact that he had actually worked in the mines, I was going to give him one point in geology. That could have been useful. I would imagine that would be one point in professional skill mining. Maybe, Not necessarily oh, geo no, geology. It wasn't, uh, it wasn't geology, it was prospecting. Yeah, that makes sense. I think that'd be less useful. Eh. Um, but as you're talking you will hear someone who's standing around will say a couple of months back i don't know if it's related but someone reported that they found something new in the mine something new what new will shrug and say unfortunately the universe was cold and indifferent cold. Yeah. will shrug and say i i don't don't know her but i Remember hearing a story that something new was found in one of the mines. It says, do you think that could have something to do with it? It, it could. If we could figure out what the uh, what it is that was discovered. Whatever it is that would make the Imperials want to murder everybody to keep it quiet. An untapped uh, vein of unobtainium. What if they found Kyber here? That would be odd. Temperature's not right. I think kybers are always found in really, really cold environments. Mm, no. Didn't they have kyber on Lothal? I'm wondering if I'm thinking of something else. Was Jetta cold? Actually, it kind of, well, I think the thing I was reading was that it was supposed to be like a cold desert, but uh let's see do, 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 do. yeah disregard that kybers are just found on planets that have a high natural concentration of force energy so well, wherever apparently so i guess yeah. jetta was force sensitive yeah that's uh that, they had multiple uh force church things there uh pre pre-Empire, pre, uh, pre-Clone Wars. There's a whole bunch of cool backstory about Jedha. In the canon, or is this expanded universe? 
I suppose most of it needs to be canon because it was introduced, you know, Jetta was introduced by uh, the, the the crap that is Disney uh, in their, their one good movie. Yeah, but they didn't really tell you anything about it in the movie. But so everything, anything... everything that they, they have officially released since has been like, you know, official slash canon, whatever. Because they were saying, yeah, everything is actually, uh, you know, un- unlike uh, EU, we're going to, uh, and this was their claim, uh, we're going to make everything that is tied, you know, that, that happens actually connected and correct and then of course they soon thereafter started ignoring themselves because of course they did it's what you get with many cooks it's what you get with the darkness that is disney pure concentrated evil the mouse is is a sith no, it's Abs- a reverse um uh, yeah, so. all right so your plans um, well, it's going to take a couple hours for Bosco to really sort of get everybody squared away and all that such. Um, so I suspect uh, maybe after it's dark, uh, Luck would like to at least investigate or scout out these two uh, potential locations. You know, not not get directly there, but get within you know, macro uh-huh. binocular uh, visual and see if we can see crap ton of activity going on about, you know, it's site A, but nothing at site B. Okay. Yeah, I don't see what else we could do. I mean, we can't do a whole lot here. You will recover all your fatigue. Um, if luck wants to be first aided, oh, yeah. um, that should be done. So first aid role will... Fix Lux one point. Um, I'm not going to have Bosco bother with it uh, because he's going to be busy with the actual people. So I, I can I can knock that out. It's only three seconds to put a quick spray of the bandage spray or the back the spray. It right, takes three yeah, seconds and it heals one. Yeah, but I, I was... So we would have like, done it like hours ago. Probably. Yeah, like I'm saying, I'm, I'm just thinking... You know, he's he's dealing with actual trauma patients and such like that. So Luck will just like take the uh that particular piece of armor off, spray the uh spray the back to put the armor back on. Okay, sure. Yeah. Yeah, I, 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 you know, I just know you're you're busy, so it's like and it's it's such a trivial injury. GURPS doesn't penalize doing first Sorry. aid on yourself, so first aid by five. All right, not a problem. You will notice that uh, Bosco is busy looking after people. You get a moment to sit down um, and catch a breather, and then you, for the first time, have a chance to look at your your graze or your near miss wound, um, and yeah, bit of bacter, and it's all good. If your back to spray has doses, um, make a note that you've used one. Six. The, the, there's a six. There's a single use can, and then there's all like a six use can. Yeah, I think it's a six use can that, that I have. Well, now it's a five. It's a half a pound. Okay, then it's not. It's the one use. The point one is a single use. Right. Okay, that explains it. I have. Uh, I have it listed. I have five of those, so now I have four. I'll have to replace that. But yeah, so once it uh, once the the, uh, the the sun has gone down and all that stuff, it's like you know, I'd like to probably sneak out, maybe get Ronin to serve as a uh, as a guy if he's familiar with the general location. He's familiar with the the city. Um, he could. He could take you to that part of town. He says um, best way to get there is a speeder. Yeah, that'll that'll probably draw too much attention, though. Ideally, I'd like to get to a, a high point where I could see both locations, and then just monitor them. Mm-hmm. Um, he'll say 
well it's going to be a little bit difficult on foot the uh, yeah the area around the palace is mostly canyons if we do that on foot and you want to get to high ground we're going to have to do oh, a lot right, of climbing right, 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 right. bring family there i was i was thinking inside the city uh, as well these these locations are outside the city They're, yes yeah uh yeah we have a speeder don't we? we 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 brought a speeder here no wait we brought the sh yeah yeah we no we, we, we talked about we whether or not we could squeeze the speeder in there but i don't think we actually did it well ronan will say we have some speeders have the the, the stormtroopers been uh have you seen scout troopers on speeders as well he will nod and say uh we've seen them about excellent i have to ambush a couple of them and take their speeders so who is going to be heading out um to do some intel gathering well logically i'm thinking it's probably going to be the the four active pcs with us leaving uh, the wook behind to sort of uh, uh stand watch with everybody Ironically. unless someone's like no yeah, i want to stay <laughs> bosco wants to try out some of his new gear <laughs> all right so after the uh the sun goes down it does get very dark in the city as there's no um there's no lights and as per the uh standard operating procedure that these guys have been sort of following they will turn down their their lights here so as not to you know reveal their position well Yep. Tina should probably cover up with something. Dark pink. Yeah. She's like, oh don't worry, I've got a I've got a poncho and she pulls it out and it's like pink camo. I wonder did I ever go and do that weather table? Did she not? I thought I did, but I'm looking and there's no weather table. I think it's one of the things that I think about doing but forget to do. I did finally do my mods, do my mods module, but uh, it turns out it doesn't actually work like we thought. So the GM actually still has to have the module in order for it to be available. All right. So if the GM doesn't have the module, you can't load it. Yeah. Now, if the GM does have the module, I can load it, even if the GM doesn't necessarily have it for everybody. Right. Fair enough. Well, if there's any modules that you need to make active, you'll have to send them to me so I can add them. I believe that is a, on the weather table, I think that's normal, passable. It's passable. So the weather at the moment is not great. There's a bit of a wind that uh, is blowing through the, the canyons, um, but you don't have any toxic acid rain or anything like that at present you will all set out um they have speeders for all of you um if you want speeder bikes or there's a speeder that you can all occupy how do you want to do it we absolutely all need speeder bikes because that's cool how many can drive one piloting contragraph and they're definitely not those dumbass speeder bikes that were in the mandalorian motorcycle gang bikes <laughs> you boba fett. Boba fett, not that's it because mandalorian actually the had the, had the in the season two they had the cool swoopy things like uh that that did look cool yeah the um oh, more like you know harley choppers but yeah no these aren't scooter scooter bikes so altina has his driving hovercraft so i'm not sure if that will suffice <laughs> i think that's probably what you meant that to be uh, i think there's defaults i think driving hovercraft is actually a uh, modern driver. real hovercraft uh you're welcome to change driving hovercraft to speeders or contragrav if you want because hovercraft is probably not very star warsy gotcha 
So it's more Star Warsy than a car. Contragraph. Yeah. Pilot contragraph is the skill. Or IQ minus six. Uh, there may be defaults to other pilot if you have them as well. In any case, you won't need to make the roll unless you're doing something extreme. So you will start down the uh, the streets of Palace, um, trying to be stealthy. Is um, that a question? No, I'm assuming that's what you're you're trying to do. Ah, yes. And as you drive down the streets, this happens. Crap, music started playing. Oops, wrong size. Better not be Duel of the Fates. No, it's the Imperial March. That's even worse. Is it? Uh-oh. Uh-huh. Great. <laughs> I am not that great with piloting speeders. I've got a 12. Are we, are we each on our own speeder? <laughs> Absolutely. Oh, my God. All right. What's yours? Is that as bad as mine? <laughs> Mine is at default. Oh, no. You're going to crash and explode. Where's my images? We need uh, Nosh here with his sound bites so he can throw in the Wilhelm scream when we inevitably all get flung off of our speeders. Well, worst comes to worst for me. I'll angle my speeder toward them and then trigger my jetpack as the speeder crashes into it. Oh, man. Stormtroopers. Here. All right, so you are driving down the streets of Palace. You will uh, drive past an intersection and you'll catch in the corner of your eye two scout troopers just sitting, stopped um, on the side of the road. As soon as you go past, you will see that they will um, jam on the, uh, the accelerator on their bikes and... <clears throat> They turn onto the street um, in front of you. Oh, sorry, behind you. You're in front of them. Well, this will be interesting. These are the stats. Uh, do we get the minus two for unfam unfamiliarity as well? No. Nope. <laughs> I'm going to be hurting. So these are the stats for a speeder bike. I call shenanigans because all speeder bikes are different. Well, this is a uh, military speeder bike. Oh, sweet. So I can shoot. You can't. They can. Oh, well, I want to shoot. You have your guns to shoot. And I think it's only... You have to have gunslinger. And then you can shoot with your accuracy. Nobody actually got gunslinger, did they? Nope. And I originally did. Then I'm like, wait a minute. I can't have gunslinger. I wanted to get it. I will actually put you guys. So by the time they get after you, they're at medium. And um, unless you choose to do anything special, I will assume that you guys are sticking together. Uh, unless you want to sp deliberately split up. Oh, we, we should just plan ahead that I'm going to fall off or crash. <laughs> Well, you can do that spinning speeder into the tree thing if you want. Uh, do any of these maneuvers give me a plus to my roll? Or, or no. some kind of benefit? Well, no, fortunately for you, chases, have you, fortunately for you, the roll uh, doesn't matter. Uh, well, there's no rolls for crashing unless you do stunts and stuff like that. Otherwise, you're just rolling to stay ahead of the people chasing you. Uh, so I will use luck. You have luck? Why can't I drop his token? Where did uh, the stats for the speeder go? It's in chat. Uh, you do have plus three handling, so uh, you get to add that to your rolls. Sweet. There we go. You have to hold down shift now to copy avatars. Oh, right. Yeah. Was it, was it shift? I thought I was thinking it was control or something. I do shift that. 
that time anyway. Um, there we go. Well, this will be interesting. So we're just doing this as a complete group. Well, unless you are we. I'm assuming if, you're unless, staying together. Unless we're making a single roll for the entire group, then we're going to need to be separate. We will do it as a roll for the entire group. Um, and we'll do it plus one for everyone that has the skill, minus one for oh. everyone that doesn't. Who is defaulting? Actually, no. What was it? Is plus one for everyone that has the skill. It minus, minus the group so size. Minus anybody that doesn't in the end. So I think it sounds like we have a plus three on the uh, the for the skill because apparently Bosco doesn't have it, but a minus four for the group size. So total of minus one. But who makes right. the rule? Uh, well, if we're using that rule as is, then uh, it's whoever's got the best roll. Which is probably going to be you or Tina. I don't know what Tina's is. Looks like I got a 13 in speeder. That's better than my 12. Yeah. I, when I swapped over the points from the other skill, I wound up with a 13. So one of you two. Uh, whose dice is worse? Mine. Is it? I don't think that there's any argument <laughs> against that. But mine are pretty bad. I wonder this if somebody with a lower the... skill but better dice would be a better choice here. Nope, we're going to have the people with the two crappiest uh, dice be the ones uh, that are responsible. God help us all. Um, okay. okay, so... We'll tag team it, I guess. You could, uh... got could. Complimentary skills as well. How many... We can probably only do a... one or two of those, right? It's the, the limit on complementary skills is just logical so if there's a good reason why everybody could contribute then everybody could contribute well i think I the maximum though is two there is no max survival let me Granted, rephrase that the there is no there is no listed maximum it's logical so if it's logical that there could be only so many people helping then only so many people can help Okay, and I do want, um, does, I think it's Tina, make a electronics op communications roll into the box for me, please. Now we could potentially do uh, urban survival here as a compliment. Yeah, that's what I, that's why I was asking. I actually have that skill. Do you, what do you have it great at? at it. I've only got it at 12, but I actually have it. Well... But I don't know if other characters have it, and if that's the case, then that's fine. Technically, I have yeah. that as a 16. Oh, yeah. Tina's got it as, at a 12, so... So we might have Tina make the piloting role, and I make the urban survival role. Yay! Oh, wow. It's only got area knowledge or urban survival. Those are the only two complementary skills for Tasis. I guess that depends on how creative you are. No, I mean, it specifically states you may roll against either uh, of these, period. It doesn't say anything well, about other complementary skills. The GM could say say we could use a different one. If there's a logical reason for it, sure. Tactics. I guess that's, that's just, just That's the thing that I was thinking was like tactics, where it's like, okay, we need to, you know, do this and do that and do this to convince these guys or to cause these guys to screw up. Sure. All right. So, Quarry, that's us. We're just choosing move, right? Nothing I don't fancy think we're, here. Yeah, I don't think we're uh, wanting to really do anything not fancy. We don't want to get uh, Bosco wrapped around a tree. Well, quickly noting that Bosco clearly barely knows what he's doing. Uh, in our, I don't want to call it a formation because it's not really a formation. Luck is definitely going to make sure he's a uh, trail bike. So if the troopers engage, uh, they will hit him or his, his bike first. That way that, uh, he can activate the, the whole sense of duty to the team. 
Okay, so what's the uh, what's the geography here, and what are our wind conditions? Are we just going till we lose them in a, at extreme, or are we go in a limited number of rounds, or what? Uh, there's going to be a limited number of rounds, or things will happen at different rounds. We'll have Tie Fighters attack, and then it'll get even more interesting. Uh, but we're outside the uh, outside the facility. No, you are still inside the uh, the city oh, at the sorry. moment. Let me just put a token down for the terrain type. Yeah, we do kind of need an indicator for that, don't we? Um, how would you do that? Yeah, I mean, it just could another be box really. underneath it. Let's see if we have something semi-appropriate. <laughs> All right, so chase sequence. Quarry chooses chase maneuvers. We're doing move. Pursuer chooses chase maneuver. Are they doing move or move and attack? Uh, one second. One one thousand. I'm going to use that token. Oh, duh! It's it's right there. It does exist. Der, der, der. All right, so we'll start in cramped. It just went to actually no. You're on the street, so we start at normal. Uh, and but no rough or anything like that. So the terrain starts there. All right, choose your maneuver. Move on. Uh, they will take uh, move and attack. So they will begin to fire. Pew, 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 pew. They will resolve their attack. How many were there? Two? There's two. Well, and luck has established he's in trail. Yep. Okay. What are we waiting on? My roll. This is going to be at minus seven. Wow, that's not great. Well, that's good because... We have to do vehicular dodges and some of us are really going to be terrible at it. Right, Speaking I should of, probably figure out what my vehicular dodge is. We That's... should figure out what our vehicular dodges are. What is that again? That is half plus three? Control skill divided by two plus handling. Say that again? Half, divided by half plus handling. So that would Pilot be... Pilot plus handling. Pilot half hand plus handling. So that would be divided by two plus three. Eh, that's a nine. I guess that could have been worse. Wait, I get, I get a plus one because I have combat reflexes, so I have a ten. I will. So we'll, we'll if someone is attacked, we'll determine who is hit, who of the group is hit, and then make the rolls based on that. Uh, right. Um, then we resolve the attack rolls from you guys. You did none. So we... However, this is where our uh, other rolls would be, right? Yes, so you'll make your complementary rolls, and then you make the chase roll. Right, so I was thinking tactics. I didn't know if that was uh, officially okay, since it's not quite, not exactly in the rules. Um, and I think Giger was going to do uh, right. urban survival. Complementary roll. Tactic skill, success by six. Supposed to call out their successes by for the, the thing. Whatever. So no other complimentary skill rolls? Urban survival and such? Oh, do, we, do we all need to make them? Or... You don't have to. But you can only use one, one complimentary. Yeah, I don't have anything else that would apply here. All right, so it'll be your pilot plus two. Uh, for the purpose of speed, um, your speeds are equal, so we don't need to add that modifier. Oh, well, okay. Just makes the math easier. All right, make your rolls. Okay, so I'm making the piloting roll. Just make, just make piloting. Don't worry about the handling because um, skills are equal there as well. Okay. Well. Holy crap. Well, Who, whose dice crit. are these? 
Nice. That was unexpected. I need a screenshot. I've never seen that before. Uh, <laughs> that is uh, that is going to be a minus one for for Busco though, but that's not going to change it. Uh, the skill is fifteen. Yes, it will. Damn it. Uh, that will be a success by nine. Um, nine. So success by seven. You will actually one. one your uh, range one band. band will extend. Why'd you have to go and take that away from her there? Dad? I know. Such a I'm jerk used to move. it. <laughs> Compensating for the fact that the dice didn't screw her over. Uh, where is your communications role? She trying to jam their comlinks. Quick center switch. That would be nice if the, if she could do that, but um, she's probably like hands on speed or not really working on anything else. All right. So since Tina actually went around um, checking the bombs and stuff on the that you got from the troopers, you will hear one of them sort of you know spark to life and. Uh, you'll hear the voice of one of the, uh, you assume is the biker scouts, um, will say to the other, quick, communications won't get out of these canyons. Head back to base and let them know we have some survivors on the run. And okay. you'll hear affirmative. And with that, a a biker we'll peel off down another street. So there's only one now following you. Okay. As soon as she hears that while they're driving, she's going to pop our own communicator on and let everyone know what they're doing. One's heading back to, uh, back to report in. If you. They're limited by the uh, communications as well. Yep. Um, at this point you have, some options you can continue to evade your current chase or you can move to chase the one that's leaving at which case the chase becomes against two targets if you chase the one that's leaving all right um tina tina is going to use her intuition with the force to determine what the best of the two choices is okay somebody so, remembered i know so right? it's, uh it's an iq roll i think in the box or you make so you're it. plus one for every good choice and minus one for every bad choice is that right um, yeah, give me a second believe that's it yeah something like that um and i think if it's a critical critical success then it's if there are multiple okay you get the choices, best choice you get the best one but in this case there's really only two so well it depends depends on which perspective you could escape and you could escape and then not have to worry about being shot at or you could lay chase and still yeah potentially be in danger all right make a roll into the box please for your intuition all right, so your gut tells you that it's probably better to go after the guy that uh, is going to get back up. Which is funny because I was totally going to, you know, have that be the instruction. It's like, yo, angle after him. Though it's not, it's not like a clear cut, you know, it's just marginally because being shot at at the same time is not, not good either. But you are at range. Okay. So Lux probably mid-sentence and Tina just wheels the speeder around and goes heads off in that direction. Impulsive. No, she's not impulsive, but her gut says to do it, so. All right, so Luck, uh, or the group, you will see Tina veer off, apparently heading towards, or in the same direction that uh, the other speeder went. Yep. And Bosco keeps on going because he doesn't know how to turn. <laughs> <laughs> that would be really funny, I must admit. 
I do have luck, so I'm kind of saving that for a critical moment here if I need it. Mm, that's a good thing. Uh, we're going to split up. That's up to you. Hey, how are you going to do this? Oh, okay. I see what he's doing. So who is going after the guy that uh, is going for backup? Well, let's assume the uh, group is generally sticking together. All right, so the group will stick together? Yep. Although, uh, if, well, yeah, let's just keep it simple. The thing that comes to me here is, like, if nothing else, we might be able to find out where base is. Uh-huh. I mean, we may have to blow through it and end up getting shot at by a bunch of uh, stormtroopers. And, eh. and Bosco may crash his speeder and cause it to explode. But, you know, it is what it is. Is it really a Star Wars movie without an exploding speeder? Yes, well, but it really doesn't mean it's wasn't not cool. one in a new hope. So the GM needs to point one the wrong direction so we know which one's after us. Oh, I'm putting labels on them. Oh, that's cheating. I liked Daniel's idea better. You ask too much, but I will make it obvious. It's going to be interesting, though. They're, they're at 11. Man, we can't even barely hit that. Well, the one at 11 is the one that's following us. Both of them are at 11, as far as I understand. Well, I guess they should be. Okay, now they are. All right, so before we do stuffs with the circumstance roll, nothing special. So is that one actually hiding? So uh, Quarry chooses their maneuvers. Um, right. He will go first since he's the quarry of the quarry. He will take a move. Then it is your turn. We're probably also going to be taking a move because we need to catch up to him so we can shoot him, hopefully. Uh, yeah, because we're a long way away. Um, okay, so the uh, pursuer will again take move and attack. Yeah, yeah, I'd have an effective skill of three, I think, to shoot him. Hmm. It's like, because it's like minus 11 range, and then you have the whole shooting from a vehicle minus two. Uh, there's going to also be, I think, a minus two for shooting while you're driving. Great. I want to get up there and ram him. Jump onto the back of his uh, his bike. Okay. No criticals on his part. Ooh, that's a critical fail. That's, the, you were uh, saying... Let's verify that. Okay, that's fine. What? Why is that no, fine? No malfunction. His speeder should have exploded. No, it's above it's tech like, level. I was like, wait, why Why did his speeder explode? Uh, okay. Chase rolls. Uh, let's see, same, so it's probably tactics and uh, right. survival again. Tactics check is success by three. Urban survival is success by lots. Uh, damn, there's no way I can do this. Let me put in the tracker. So that gets Tina with a plus one total. Which is better than a minus one. True. Much better than a minus ten. Mm -hmm. But one is the loneliest number that you'll ever do. Okay, the one following. Actually, we'll do it the other way. Going to base first. You will succeed by seven. Um, that says you six. got... Sorry, six. Did you add the bonuses? She hasn't rolled yet. Okay, make yep, your roll. I was waiting for you to say you're ready. One. You need to roll just a three. There it I is. Didn't... Yep. <laughs> Critical fail. Oh man, it's seventeen. We're gonna crash. Well, but this is a contest, so technically it's just a fail by three. Uh, from like one end of the spectrum to another. So fail by three means no change. No, no success by six. So that's a margin of nine. That's nine. Yeah. So that's one, one. step. He's now an extreme. 
I don't suspect. Right. I don't expect okay. we're going to actually be able to catch him now. <laughs> yeah, probably not. We're, we're yeah, totally that around didn't... this on Bosco. This is totally Bosco's. Like, um, uh -huh. how? What? What do you mean when the lights are all flashing purple? And oh. now you make a roll again for the one chasing the piloting same oh, bonuses okay so okay that i'd see how you did that oh, we'll, okay. we'll treat yeah, it as two separate sense. chases that so that actually does make sense yeah so you can make I, I, your complimentary rolls again think, and the pilot roll again I, uh, I would think it would be making its own roll and just applying it to uh, the one that we already did not that i want to keep that well it would uh, we could I handle it either not... way but to do it as two chases means you're actively trying to evade one by and follow the other. So I would assume they're separate roles. Let's do it as separate roles anyway. Because this GM feels sad for uh, for Mel rolling that kind of see critical it. fail. No, he doesn't feel sad about that. So success by three. Actually, that's a success by one because of the minus two penalty for move and attack. Hmm. So make oh. your complimentary rolls again, and then make your pilot roll. Right. Oh, okay. Woo, tactics fail. So she okay. just rolls a straight up, uh, straight yeah. up piloting test. Wow. A little better. By six. So, so that's, that's uh, five. five. You actually so you lose him. As well. That's a little unexpected. No, he just wasn't expecting us to turn around like that. So it he had to go the long way. Why, it also explains why his, his shooting was like a critical failure. Because he's like, ah, I got this guy. He's like, wait, why are they going? Oh, crap. All right. Next turn. The twist. Chase circumstances. We should, we should do hide. Terrain narrows one step. We should totally do hide and let the guy blow right past us. I wonder if there's bonuses to hide when the distance is based on distance. Uh, conditions, uh, let's see, yeah, um, yes, there's going to be. Attempt to duck, uh, yeah, wait, conditions, round starts at medium range or greater, suitable scenery or lucky break, chase rolls, minus 10 at medium range. Minus five at long range or plus zero at extreme range. So if we tried to hide at medium range, we would be at minus 10. On foot, you must make your chase roll against stealth. If you win the quick contest of chase rolls, then your foe shoots right past. All right, so new turn. The guy heading back to base uh, to alert them is taking move. The one at extreme is going shit and will take move as well um yeah i think i am going to probably recommend we do a hide where it's like we like split no, not actually split up but like dart into cover and let the guy just blow right past us well but if we hide we're gonna lose the other guy right he's at extreme range that's well, we can minus, still close. Minus 15. How, how far is that, actually? Undefined. Well, I'm just thinking in standard standard range. That's uh, minus 15 is 700 yards. Oh, what's the max under tight, if we're at tight, then? That's for size modifier. No, I thought uh, there was a limit on... Yeah, second. ignore me. Oh, I seem to remember. I, I seem to remember what you're talking about, Daniel. I think, unless I'm misremembering, which is totally possible. I, I think some of those. Uh, I think some of those have a limit on how far uh, on the range bands, how far you can go before you lose sight. I actually thought I had the chase rules. Which of the, the two pyramid? Uh, which of the two pyramids is that that from? Is it yeah, the one twelve or the fifty three? I mean, he's got a oh, list right up there, but I don't know which one of them it is. Ah, uh, it looks like it's uh, one twelve. Oh, okay. So we're Maximum tied. Range of attacks is what it says. Okay, right. Yeah, because you can still be 
you can still be in a chase with somebody that you can't see. All right, so um, your group, are you going to chase or are you going to attempt to hide? Not that you know the guy behind you is not doing move and attack since yeah. his maneuver would have happened after yours. But Well, I'm just envisioning this as like, you know, sort of a cityscape so there's enough stuff between us and him that he's at least temporary we've at least temporarily broke line of sight so we're like oh crap we can still hear it we can't necessarily see him you will probably Um, catch glimpses um glimpses of him between turns and stuff at this point you are heading out of the city as well I guess we can do another round of move and see if we can re- reproduce the, the previous thing where the guy moves from uh, extreme to mm-hmm. distant. <laughs> no, this is uh, this is where that guy is going to roll an 18 and Mel's going to roll a 3, and that's going to like move us to short or something. No, we're going to both crit fail our, uh, our assist rolls and give her a minus 4. <laughs> All right, so in order, the... Quarry that you're chasing uh, makes his roll first. Can we do and succeed a by four? And Vasco uses luck. Is that legal? Uh, uh, maybe. Sure. I mean, um, you see a very luck. you see a very narrow gap. Um, you see a very narrow gap. What level of stunt are you choosing? What? Who said anything about a stunt? Well, that's what Bosco was suggesting. You guys are holding back because of me. Um, I'm willing to like go for it, guys. Let's get that bastard. Right. It's it's it's. Well, at the moment you've chosen move. Maybe next turn. Uh, Make your pilot roll, please, Tina. At plus two. Beef exclamation point by four. Uh, Plus one. Yeah, plus one. So I'll just roll it. You can add one. Eh. Uh, no so no change. He's still, yep. All right, so uh, the guy that is following you. Oh, so close. Tactics by nine. Thief he, power. Right. The guy that's following you will also succeed by four. You were having a scroll there twice. Yes. Okay. Uh, so no change. Wow. No change at all. You got by zero both times. Wow. Yeah, and no, that add, was add one, the right, yeah. third turn? Yes? Something like that. Yep. So, fourth turn. Chase circumstances. Nothing special. Uh, the guy that is making a break for it uh, will choose move. Uh, what do you guys choose? Do you want to take the stunt option? Do we... Do we dare? We're not that good. But it would be funny, so I think we should. Especially if we can use Bosco's luck for the in- inevitable failed uh, tests. I'm good with Bosco getting lucky. Because we know it would be Bosco that would end up being the person that is causing the, the bad thing to happen. Right. So, so choose your move. Well, thinking that through, uh, stunt, um, at best, Tina could only really take a minus two. Because if, That's both, true. if both Luck and Nim uh, are successful, uh, that gives her the plus one to uh, counter the minus one. Or, or Yeah, so that puts her... Keep in mind... 14, uh, and you wouldn't want to get it any lower than 12. Keep in mind, though... For the stunt roll, you do still get to add the handling, plus three. Yeah, that's fair. And the stability on the speeder is two, so as long as you don't fail by more than two. Two. Let me check. Never mind. It is two. So as long as you don't fail by more than two, so you we're should take be right. A f- stunt of four, just because it's stupid and irresponsible of us. I say sure. Why not? And I've got overconfidence. He's like, "Yeah, come on, guys, do it." Do well, it. Do I mean, it. we could do, 
we could do a sort of urban survival stunt here and try to cut them off. Well, choose your stunt. Unfortunately, the guy pursuing is forced to do the stunt. Sweet. Um, Maybe he'll crash and explode. And then we'll get our explosion that we want. Actually, no, is that only for stunt escape? I think the stunt gives you a bonus. No. Um, yeah, it gives us a plus one to our chase roll per minus two on the stunt roll. Yeah, it's only stunt escape where they have to actually do the stunt with you. Um, the only other instance is if you roll using the, the stuff from 3.1.12, Pyramid 3.1.12, where the stunt opportunity shows up, I think, in the chase circumstance, where it's like, oh, crap, you have to do it. Or the, you know something like that. I can't remember exactly how yeah, that was. Is... Uh, that was work. That was working. Yeah, there is one where you you're forced to do it. Obstacles. That's what it was. Chase events. Obstacles. Where it's like, yep, sorry, you either have to plow through it or do a stunt, and everybody involved has to do it. Okay, so this guy is just going to take move. Right. So. Uh, All right. So I we. I think we're gonna go up, and over and do a jump and that that's where our minus four is so that would give you a plus right. two on your yes your roll okay um so you are the pursuer is oh, not doing any skills so it's just the quarry you resolve your maneuver your stunt uh did the wait first you have to do the your quarry first right yeah but my quarry is just doing a move this ah, is this is your gotcha. stunt roll. So and this will be you get the complementaries on stunts? No. Alright, so are we still doing the group roll for that? It will be the group roll. Okay. Okay, if he does if she doesn't get the complimentary, we can only do two because you get the the plus three, which puts her at sixteen, but then the minus one because the Bosco puts it at fifteen and we, we don't want to bring it bring it down to an effective skill of 11. Yeah, but Bosco has luck. As we have seen, that does not always help. You've got a you got a Benny, you got a tactics point. Okay, so what is my final modifier that I need to put in to this thing? Uh, sounds like you're going to be at a total of minus 2. Uh you're normally 13, right? Yeah. Yeah, so <laughs> take a risk. That's not bad. Minus That's over fifty percent plus a couple of luck rolls. I hate rolling anything under twelve. Hate it. I don't have OCD, but it definitely triggers something in me. If you're using luck, you got three rolls to roll under eleven. Uh -huh. You should be fine. Uh -huh. And then you got a you got a Benny. Mm hmm I love the fives and sixes. Two more rolls, I guess. Are we using luck? Because otherwise, I guess Bosco was about to crash. <laughs> All right. This is going to be great. This Actually, no, it be... wouldn't have been a crash because you only failed by one. Okay, roll again to see if you roll a, a, a three because that would be the funniest thing. <laughs> no. That's a negative. Wow. Somebody shake it. Six... shake it. <laughs> well, it was successful. So success by four. So you pull off this stunt where you went up and over, did a, a jump over the um, one of the canyon gorges and came down Boss, hopefully screaming the entire time. Hopefully a little bit further away um, from your uh, pursuer. Bosco would probably be screaming. Um, yeah, Wilhelm scream. Okay, you will get to make your rolls. So, so complimentary rolls first. Actually, no. We do the roll for the guy that's running away. Okay. Now, your complimentary rolls yours. and your pilot. Uh, tactics by five, thief by eight. So she's going to be at plus four, right? Plus yeah. four or plus one? I've been rolling at plus one. Yeah, you got extra now, though. Oh, uh, oh that's nice. So it's no, two no, for the assist. No, it's plus three. Yeah. Two for the assist, two for the stunt, minus one for Bosco. 
Gotcha. I can't math. Everybody knows this. There's a reason why I have a degree in history and not mathematics. Mostly because math sucks. Succeed by there nine. You. Nice. Uh, so that's only succeed by four overall. So no change. You could bend oh, that and make man. it a change. You could. And that means we'll you get will get closer to the one that you're chasing. I think we're going to bend and that lose the other one. All right. Benny it? Oh, Absolutely. Why not? Oh, right. Yeah, because these are separate. All right. So, Benny, you actually close so the, the distance one, the on. That's following us. The one that's following us, though, he loses one, doesn't he? No. No, we got to do a category. Another. We got to do a separate roll for him. All right. So, second guy. Oh, separate. Wait, we have to do a stunt twice? No, no. You only do your stunt once. Stunt one. Okay. Oh, a little bit. My, this my is the. Right. Yeah, 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 this yeah, is the yeah, chase right roll. There. He succeeds okay, by three. Five. All right. So same roll again. Pilot plus three. Odds are in your favor here. You arrogant ass. Hey. Plus three. So succeed by five. Margin is two. So no change. Next turn. This is round five. Oh man! All right, stunt Great. penalty. Freaking obstacle! Here's where we explode. Yeah, they've got the uh, ATST standing in the middle of the street. Including so we have a minus three on this penalty to evade the obstacles. Uh, Wait, this, if we, it... yeah, if we fail and actually hit it, it has a strength of fifty. It says just penalty to stunt. Does that mean the penalty only applies if we do a stunt? Um, obstacles are slightly different. Uh, they were added in the pyramid thing, and it's basically something suddenly in the way, and you have to do a stunt or stunt escape. I think it was saying that you have to do that, one of those two. Which one is it? Uh, obstacles, let me look. There are several options when faced with an obstacle. If you don't want to deal with it, you can stop and take a static maneuver such as an attack or try a reverse or reverse escape to come back the way you came. In general, any circumstance, if any circumstance causing a participant in a chase to take a static maneuver on the round where the obstacle appears, the obstacles are still in the way. To continue on the path, the obstacle must be evaded or plowed through in the next round. And evading requires either a stunt or stunt escape maneuver. Yay! All right, so your your quarry is also going to have to deal with this. Obviously, has to do a stunt, and just cause it's strength fifty. Let me just check something. Yep. Ooh, Let's and see, our uh, bike, bike strength. strength thirty. Okay, well, so it's not that big. All right, so an ATST has strength 58. So there is a random noise. Sorry, phone rang. There is a random ATST walking down the, the canyon, uh, which you have to avoid. Oh, man, this is going to suck. This is going to suck so bad because he just used luck. Hey, can we take like an hour break? <laughs> I'm afraid not. And the worst oh. part is, is I also have luck, but I can't trigger this because it's only defensive and combat. I mean, combat to the combat part would work, but this isn't technically defensive. Yeah, I was about to ask the same thing because Tina's got luck defensive. <laughs> All right, so you choose stunt. The guy following is brave. He will also choose stunt. You know, what would, be, what would be kind of funny here is like if we somehow miraculously make it, but both speeders fail and just wipe out. Like, that would oh, be kind okay. of funny. That's appropriate. One crashes, we do the stunt. The other one goes, what's all this stuff flying? And he crashes. Uh, okay, so the quarry. Um, actually, no, it's the pursuer that resolves their attack 
roll and stunt rolls first. No, it's just going to be backwards in this case. It's going to be the guy who's chasing us. So the guy is us, chasing you. So this is a weird, minus three. Which is weird because we're the guy in front is going to, you know, get to it first. You should just use it as as, as normal like we have been. The guy we're yeah. chasing goes first, and then us, and then the guy uh, behind us. That'll work. So yeah, it's, it's, because of the one. plus three handling, um, it will negate the stunt penalty. So if so, the first guy wipes out, does that make the obstacle harder? Or less, because he blew a big chunk out of it. Oh, crap. <laughs> Fail by Ooh. two, yes. Is it make or exceed? So what's... Do you have the book open? Let's see. Um, yeah, In all cases, failure sends you to wipeout, while success gives you the bonus below. Page 35 on wipeouts. Yeah, but what about handling? Or uh, 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 ability? Uh, if the target of a force, either side in a ram or someone who botches... Uh, fails the roll by his vehicle stability rating or less, or gets a regular failure, he just has a scare. Yeah. So he next fails round, by. He, next round, he must select emergency Damn action it. or stop or suffer a wreck. Should have saved that, Benny. So does it say save succeeds by? Um... If a target of a force, either side of a ram, or someone who botches a reverse stunt or stun escape fails the relevant roll by his vehicle stability rating or less. He just has a scare. He participates in the quick contest, the chase rolls, as usual, this round. So he, he's going to get the stunt bonus uh, for the chase rolls. However, next round, he must select emergency action or stop, or he suffers a wreck. All right. So next round, he's going to do an emergency action. So I'm just going to move him there now. Yeah, so he's probably just doing that slide, slipping slide thing. It's like, da -da -da. oh, crap. So, minus three, plus three. So, we're at minus one on this. That's not terrible. It gives her a plus two, uh, or a 12. All right. Uh, and Amel's dice going to uh, fail her here. Well, let's see. Yes. I'll just Fight go ahead and the think. pillow. Yeah. She's going in dry. Ooh. Oh, or not. Squeak. Somehow. We actually looked like we knew what we were doing. That's really going to work for you because next turn, uh -huh. you're going to be, or well, this guy's going to be at minus five. All right, so the guy following. Needs to roll an 18 and just smack right into the ATST because that'd be funny. Sadly, that didn't happen, though. Yeah, that was unmodified. Oh, yeah, right, because he's at minus three plus three. Damn it. I nice try. Right. Uh, so, so chase rolls. The chase bonus. So um, it'll just be same standard rolls because, yeah, no one. Right. Up. Okay. So tactics is success by eight. Wow. M is by zero, but so... that's plus one for her chase. No, wait. Plus three for the chase roll. No, wait. That'd be plus four, because we took a minus three because of this weirdness. Okay, so I've got a plus four? Yes. Well, everyone gets the plus for the oh, yeah, stunt, plus, so... Yeah, we were ignoring the uh, stunt. Yeah, ignore the stunt. Oh, okay. Because uh, everybody went through it. So... That, that would have been three lower. Sorry. So, so no but, change. Yeah, success by two. Man... All right, so for sad. the guy following, ooh, he might get closer. Right, okay. we got to do it again. He did, I think it's by five. Hmm? I think that puts him in, uh, him in No, we've got we've to do it You've again. You've got to do your second roll. This is for the guy oh, following. Oh, right, yeah. Right, 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 right. Sorry, sorry. I will catch up at good. some point. Uh, extra ooh. good. Yeah. So That's a plus, plus two. two. Yeah. Okay, so plus three margin. from these guys, and then minus one because mm -hmm. of... Okay, so plus two. Big money, big money, big money. Not really big money. 
Um, so Ooh, he's six, that's a wise. He six. gains. So he's going to get close in. Again, we're totally going to blame Bosco for that. <laughs> no. It's, and it's... of course, this this ATST will sort of spin around. Um, there'll be some pew, pew, pew. But you guys are way too fast and gone. Sixth turn. Um, Tina, on the comms, you will hear a uh, scout trooper. This is, I don't know what the designation is for a scout trooper. TK114. Actually, it should be Leet. 7337? No, 23C. I don't know. He lost, his, he lost his turn because he got confused about what his call sign was. One. One three. three he, that's why he's doing emergency action. One three three seven. We uh, are engaging four, no five, um, survivors requesting backup. Yeah, and the, the ATST is going to respond like, "No shit, we can see them, dumbass." They just start opening up and taking out the the, the stormtroopers too. All right. Now, so Tina, Tina will let everybody know on comms what just happened. If you have a means to jam, which I don't think you do, you are welcome to make a roll here. Otherwise, we roll on the universe reaction roll. This turn, on a make good or go on a good or better, um, for you, then they're still not in range, and each turn oh. following this. The universe reaction roll will get lower. Thought that was going to be to see if uh, Tina was on the wrong channel when she said that. Nope. So universe reaction roll. Um, make Bosco do it. He's Bosco. Much. Make the roll. No oh, man. All right. Main tab of the character sheet. Uh, reaction sub tab. Just click the thingy. Click the dice once. Ouch. No. Oh. All right. All right, so um, well, unfortunately cool. for you, this is gonna get interesting. he was in range. You will hear over the comms, there is a uh, response. This better not be a drill. Okay, next turns. Great. The guy so what going to base. Response? Was his response that he's going? they're going to... Send back up. Send... Huh? Oh, send back up. Gotcha. Okay. Yep, so she'll she'll uh, she'll let the group know to say they got a backup call through. All right. So the guy taking an emergency action is forced to take emergency action. What maneuver are you guys taking? We have to get closer. He's still too far away to actually engage. Well, he's at minus five. So. Yeah, but we're at usually, minus eleven. Usually, that's going to mean that uh, he's going to lose a slot. Well, I think honestly that I mean going as a group, we're going slow, right? I think whoever is the best pilot, that's the only well, way. Well, we're catch not up. we're not really going slow per se. It's just we're really sloppy. That minus one for Bosco is not really making the difference here. It's Mel's dice. It's my dice. We'll just we'll just call <laughs> it. Bosco's probably, you know, nearly having a heart attack on every turn and stuff, but. Are starting to go this is the best day ever this is awesome i need one of these i will also allow that to be effectively a default role on learning how to pilot a speeder if, if that's something that you want to do spend points in later all right so your maneuver your choice so just move. just move we do probably need to get closer before we start shooting all Unless right somebody's feeling froggy <laughs> no well, I'll go ahead and throw this out here that I, I think the whole purpose of this of us following this guy was to keep him from radioing in for backup, but now they've been able to radio in for backup. So do we really need well, to engage or do we need to just jet out? That's a fair point. Although we were going to follow him back to see if uh see if he went to their HQ. Also, at this point, if we can neutralize him, you know, like, you know, scream by him and 
take a couple shots that, that drops him, that's one less dude who's going to end up chasing us on the, uh, in the next uh, sequence of chase. Yeah, there is the very real possibility that this guy, having got his message out, will now turn around um, and also that shoot you. Ooh, he could do a reverse. Yeah, I don't think I've ever seen that before. I'm pretty sure. Well, he has to do emergency us. action this time. And I'm demanding that you roll an 18 on that emergency action. Oh, wait a sec. Given that he's had to do an emergency action, I'm going to belay the comms. Oh. It makes sense that he's going, he's going, oh shit, oh shit, he's not thinking about it. So next turn, his message will get out. Yeah, so you can probably say he's like seeing the the bars on on his HUD. He's like, oh hey, yeah, I've got connection, but I gotta control or regain control. All right. So, uh, minor retcon: he hasn't got his communique out. Yeah. But I guess you guys will see. Um, yeah, maybe you have bars on your comms, your communicators. All right. Um, everyone's chosen their moves. The emergency action doesn't require anything. You're moving. He's doing a move and attack. So he'll roll his attack. No chance of hitting. Uh, that might be... You should plug the stuff in. Minus uh, 11. That, um, also minus 2 because he's uh, firing from a vehicle. Uh... I don't think that applies when the weapon is the vehicle. I think that's for hand. I think that's only for handheld stuff or passengers. Okay. Um, in any case, that is potentially a crit. So I'll just roll verify. No, no jams. Uh, however, Shame. he needs to make his roll at minus five. That was the other guy. This is the guy going to base. Yeah. So this is the chase roll. Ooh, fail by five. That was shit. Right, and this is our usual the tactics and yeah thing. All right. Ooh, I tried Anything. to fail that. I tried to fail that. Okay, so this is back to plus one. Yep. yep. Ooh, we're gonna get him. Yeah, he's still gonna get the message off though. Well, if we get close enough, we can shoot him. That's, Is that... Uh, that's two. Nine. I think that's two slot. Yep. Is it? Yeah. Uh, what, oh, it's nine two? I was thinking it was ten. Five to nine is one step. Yeah. Yeah, we need one more. We don't have another Benny. But he didn't have that Benny. We keep running into that. Well, it's only a minus seven now. So well, that's I a guess... minus nine. I guess if you do an attack, which means you stop your static, then I guess your you could add your accuracy and all that. Uh, I don't think so. Yes. But actions, everyone on your side with a ranged weapon may roll an attack, adding his weapon's accuracy. Or it's the attacks you can. page thirty-five, but it's a static maneuver, so the other guy is gonna close in on us too. Mm-hmm. What is static? Is that like minus 10, I think, on the chase it, roll? Uh, it's an automatic range shift and a penalty, I believe. Still, that's not a terrible option to try to uh, try to do that. Yeah, we should do that because we get that means we get to uh, resolve our attacks before before he gets to do anything. That's true. First, we have to figure out the stuff for the guy who's chase, who, who's following us, though. All right. So the guy following, uh, he's at normal roll. By seven tactics. Oh, sorry. The guy following will succeed his chase roll by three. Oh, one away. So no, that's uh, now that's Tina will have to make the roll. Wow. Uh, no, no change. One away. Gah. All right. So, my my yeah, my recommendation is we shift to attack. Uh, for this this one, we 
shoot the dude okay. and be prepared to defend against the strafe of the guy who's following us. Well, if we're going to do an attack and we get full accuracy, the accuracy on those carbines was like 10. Yeah. You could shoot them both. Theoretically. Yeah, because I was probably going to... Sh- I would shift towards the... I would uh, take a. Sh- I would take the shot of the guy who's coming up from behind us. Uh, what is the penalty for... Um, what's the word I'm looking for? Their, 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 his speed. Mm. Do they actually figure that in? Uh, they, I don't think do it's going to make much of a difference. Vehicles. Yeah. So he will say you're moving not quite full speed. No, uh, no, no. I mean, if we stop and we wheel around and we we're aiming, you know, you know how you get the, the penalty of somebody. Yeah. So it'll speed. add 50 yards to your. However, he's heading toward us. Well, the thing is, this is this is the action chase thing. We don't do all that. It's just you get your act. Yeah, true. That's right. All right, it's already incorporated into the yeah. The now it chase. will still it'll still matter if you're shooting at the guy or you're shooting at the vehicle or or that, but uh, everything else is sort of hand waved. The, right, so, so you don't get uh, you don't get any of the uh, the, the other stuff. Okay. All right. So the guy that was returning to base, he is going to be turning around. Um. Okay. Well, that so he's doing a reverse. He's turning around. He will do a reverse. Um. Then we as pursuers were doing attack. On multiple targets, I guess. And the one he's really not. Re- he's really not doing a reverse. He's just changing from quarry to pursuer. Well, he's okay. moving it closer. So the guy that was going to the base has not signaled in yet. He he gets to do that on on his maneuver. I'm guessing. On his turn, I right. guess it will happen. Yes. But we get to but engage before that. Pursuers go first. So, and we are pursuers. So the pursuer that's sh- chasing you, he took move and attack, so he actually gets to shoot first. Like Not that he's likely still, to hit. That's still at super long range, and I'm about to shoot him. Yeah, he's not hitting anything. Not today. Okay, so all we apply is range and act. So, uh, action thirty five has all this stuff on it, and they're doing. Yeah. Uh, movement doesn't count here, or they don't mention it. Uh, so you just the range band, and then the target. So I guess you can shoot the bike, or you can shoot the no modifier rider. for the exposed rider. No modifier. Okay, well then I will actually seated. So rider. I don't know if seated makes a difference. No, he. If you look at the, if you look at the locations, E is there so he's exposed yeah but if seated is a penalty like crouching is a penalty i, I don't think. think they uh that is not listed any of that stuff is listed that. in action uh so he will have to make a dodge uh, although he does it does mention that for the uh, defense apparently Rider, passenger, or pedestrian can try to dodge any attack on him. It's a melee attack during a move and attack at close range. You cannot parry either. Is that minus two when seated? Never mind. That's a nope. Okay, so I'm going to do random hit location simply because he is coming at us very, very fast. Uh, looks like I got three hits. This is the guy that is that was chasing us. Chasing. The guy we yep. were chasing. Uh, right. I'm presuming everybody else is targeting the other dude. Uh, so, yeah, that's appropriate. That is a not unserious hit. Ooh. Let's just say. Totally legit. Let's make it easy. Damn. Apparently you walked it right up as, uh, right up as I did. I did 20 points all three times for the damage. That is so weird. And now he's a Pez dispenser. I don't even need to calculate the damage. He will get shot. Um, 
fall back off his speeder bike and his speeder bike will go careering into the canyon wall and explode. Now I get all oh, what great technique. I guess his speeder bike makes that woo 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 sound. I guess technically Nim, you should have shot first. Sorry. Got ahead of myself. I probably was gonna bother anyway. Um, I was figuring oh, wait, everybody no, had right. I got a targeting carving. the other guy. No, I got a carving. I, I, forget, I keep forgetting I had that thing. I keep thinking I've only got that uh, concealed. But uh, Bosco is going to be a better shot than I am. Yes. All right. Who else is attacking? So uh, can I do an aim? Well, who were you attacking? Easiest target. The... All right. So the guy that's turned around. So radio guy. Is this? But I, okay. All right. Yeah, so you're just, minus seven. We're just using the rules from the chase, right? Aims and all that. Yeah. So minus seven for range, plus your accuracy. Uh, if you're shooting the rider, it's nothing for the size mod, and that's basically it. Otherwise, the actually no speed bikes only have size mod zero as well. Yeah, you're you're sh you guys are shooting at the the smaller ones, so that's going to be at a total of plus three with the uh, the, the rifle or the the carbine plus ten for the the act minus seven for the range plus three. Uh huh. Nice. All right. So actually, it should have been Nim first. Yeah, I, that's what I said. I was like, "Oops, I got ahead of myself. Sorry, I apologized." Well, is Nim I shooting? Wasn't even considering it, so. I okay. wasn't set up. All right, so this guy will attempt to make a dodge. That has not helped him. Do your damage. And I guess roll random hits as well. Okay. Um, so I'll roll damage and then uh, hit location random or something, or what's it called? Hit location humanoid. Yeah. Wait a sec. Hold on, hold on. Uh -huh. Ow. Our digestive tract? That just sounds bad. It's all good. <laughs> gotcha. So I rolled a 19 for damage and then hit location, abdomen to the digestive tract. Oh, these are scout troopers. They don't have the same armor. Nope. Nope. Uh, okay. <laughs> that hurt. Did you get three hits or just the one? I think I got three if I rolled correctly. And then I rolled eight. Uh, no, shoot, what is it? I think I rolled the wrong thing, didn't I? Right arm. No, no you got that, that, That's right. Shot him in the shoulder on the right side. Oh, I rolled 19 again for damage. Oh, and that hits a, that hits a vein artery because that's a tight beam burn unit type. So that is going to cripple his arm. Uh, maximum he takes will be half plus one, or Which half hit points sucks, plus one. Considering so, he needs that arm to drive. Yes. So that's gonna be seven damage. Uh, no. but it might be this might be the dismemberment because HP over three. Uh, I don't think you can dismember on tight beam burning. Burning. Lightsabers disagree oh, with you. Okay. Well, it's not exactly <laughs> tight beam burning, but anyway. And then I rolled my third damage for 24 damage, hit location, what does it say? Six, right leg. So again, that's going to be seven. Clearly you caught him as he was wheeling around on the right side. That is actually what I was totally thinking. He was wheeling around and he was just like... Dup, 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 dup. Yes, so he was doing a turning around. And you have hit him three times, sending him to a death roll. And if he doesn't do the fail or succeed on that, Nim was going to shoot him too, right? He doesn't yeah. die, but he has to make two major wound rolls. Um, actually, three major wound rolls, which he succeeds. Oh, I don't need that. Two crippled limbs. Oh! Five, five, five. five, so he's unconscious. So which was the so second? Ragdolling huh. off of that, that bike and so, through the air. When you hit him in the arm, the uh, the injury is so 
um, severe that he's he passes out and goes careering off the um, the bike, and it also goes woo woo woo, woo and crashes and into the like, canyon wall. Oh! Him is skeet shooting, <laughs> and oh my god, he did not manage to get out his call for backup. Man, you know, recoil of one is pretty uh, is sick. Not to mention yeah. falling off the bike uh, probably probably killed him anyway. Armor's well, considered. Nim was blasting him away too. Actually, I want to just for shits and giggles, I want to see what damage he would have taken. Well, how? What was his altitude? No, it'll be speed collision. Yeah, it's not yeah. going to be altitude. Those things are only like you know, you know, knee high. Well, they don't have to be. Wow, he would have taken eight dice damage. That is not insignificant. Although he wouldn't have been going at full speed because he was wheeling around at the time. And arm is considered flexible. 31, so uh, thirty-one for the eight D. <laughs> Why yeah, would that be flexible? Matter. Uh, all armor in collisions is considered flexible. Oh, right. Yep. Yep. It won't uh, matter unless it stops so... all the damage. Uh, so six points of damage will actually six points of blunt trauma will get through, and then Nim shoots him. And Nim's welcome to roll damage, but he's he's out of there. He's not going to bother. All right. So would uh, would this be considered like a combat situation for the rolling of post combat shakes? Or yes, no? it would. There was now. there's attacks that were done. That's true. You, we were getting shot at the whole time, so. Okay. Yep. All good. Okay. So we take a, a a extra minute to compose ourselves, make sure everybody is is uninjured, squared away. And then we'll probably hear in the distance that clank, clank, clank as that ATST is slowly going. I'm gonna go see what those explosions were as those speeders just whipped by me. And then it's like, all right, get back on the bikes. Let's 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 get out of here. Did we get it before he made the call? I guess we're gonna find out. Well, as far as you can tell, there was no call. Um, no call That's that true. went out. You didn't That's hear true. anything, uh, or yeah. Tina didn't hear Tina anything. Would, yeah. Cool. That was a close one. It was lucky that he was doing an emergency action. Um, in any case, so you're making your escape. Taking anything of use. Can I get perception rolls from everyone? And I'm hoping that someone succeeds. These are vision based. So someone succeeded, that's fine. Well, as you are attempting to head back um, to the city or to where, where you were headed originally, you will pass by a uh, a canyon, sort of an offshoot um, canyon gorge, whatever, that breaks off the one that you're on, and you will catch a glimpse of this, ba -ba -ba -bum. which flies past, you know, flies past you as you sort of pass this intersection, intersecting gorge. That is, the sight of it flies past. Well, the sight of it, nope, the yes. the whole thing flew past. It was bizarre. What is your plan? You could uh, assume that that um, ATST is probably making its way and right, will so investigate, good. and it Would will it... probably make a call itself saying that, you know, stuff was happening. Would I uh, have... Deduce correctly that this was not on the map, itch. Uh, give me an IQ roll, since you're the one thinking about it. Well... Are we stopping to look at this thing, or are we just driving on by and you guys will tell us about, tell those of us who were didn't see it later? Well, it's a big facility. I'm sure we're all going to see it. All right, so... Uh, fail by. Oh, Nim had. Nim had eidetic memory, didn't he? Yeah, but I still got to make the roll. All right, I won't give you extra information. So, what's the plan? 
Right. So, uh, I saw it. Uh, let's see. So we'll probably want to, you know, get eyes on, uh, you know, you know, get undercover and it's like, wait a minute, what is that? Uh, and see, uh, find out from Ronan because he he was with us, right? He was, yes. Yeah, yeah. See if he knows what that is. If that's not one of the uh, the, the mining things, then we can just move on. But okay, he will inform you uh, that you are in the vicinity. He doesn't know exactly because you know you've been doing a chase down canyons, not really paying attention of as to where you are um, exactly, but he will tell you that you're in the vicinity of one of those two locations that you meant to investigate. So this might be one of those locations. Yes. Then and he'll, he, he'll indicate which one of those two that he thinks you're close to. You're in the vicinity of that one. Okay. Could, he'll say, you know, I'm not sure because, because I'm not, not sure exactly where we are, but that's, that's the so, first base we were going to check out. So okay, then we want Tina, to yeah, sorry. Go ahead. Tina could probably pit puzzle out where we are because she has absolute direction for, as one of her. So four IQ so plus she... four, I think. No, IQ plus three. If you succeed that roll, then you will confirm um, Ronan's speculation. Oh. That means but... it's true. The the advantage it just says you always know oh, which does it? way. Yeah. You always know which way is north and you can always retrace a path you have followed within the past month, no matter how faint or confusing. All right. Well then yeah, you confirm what Ronan has said. This is the of the two bases that you were or the mines you were heading to, this is the first the first one that you're going to go to. All right, then. It seems important. It does. We have macro binoculars. Let's use them. Also, while doing that, going to totally have to uh, tell uh, Bosco, it's like, you okay? I heard you uh, making some noise there. Uh, I think I'm doing okay, but uh, definitely going to need some uh, training when we get back to base. <laughs> Could somebody come help peel my fingers off the uh, hand grips? Ah, speed so, The only thing better so is the I, uh, um, Tina, I don't know what skills you have, but um, I bought some gear that can be used by the team or by you, maybe, because you might have the best, or I don't know. Um, ESM detector. Um, it requires electronic operation, electronics warfare, EW, um, or, or hand tactical radar so one can be um, basically like radar or radio signals within twice the range of the device okay we can um i mean that's that's all i have okay so she can take a look at it i don't think she has operation for any of that she does have repair yeah we're kind of both in that in which, that particular uh, boat. Which electronic ops was it using? Because I have EW. comms, force shield, sensors, and surveillance. Okay, well, you probably defaulted. Yeah, uh, you know, uh, may, uh, can, you, uh, can you update your character on the, the boards, Bosco? Or Bosco, FX, uh, uh, with that, that information, we can uh, double check on it uh, afterwards, and you know, I'll, I'll see what, uh, what we have there. Do you remember that device, Phil? Which device? The uh, the ESW. No. Yes. Whatever it was. Yeah. Um, Frost used to use that all the time. To okay. To detect people's cell phones. Right. Yeah. This mm -hmm. is that. Okay. Hmm. I'm wondering if that tech would really even be in the uh, Star Wars stuff. I don't know why it wouldn't be. I mean, something that just detects transmissions. I'm not going to be able to listen in on them. No, all it does is detect the source. Yeah. I I could see it being Star Warsy. Yeah, that, that. I mean, I'm it might, not. It'll have a really low res screen and big buttons, unmarked buttons, 
and there'll be red, so, white buttons. So one is uh, the ESM detects radar and radio communication, so we could see like if you know if they're actively sending signals out. And the other one is basically a little mini radar device. So that one uses the operation sensor skill. The other one uses operation ah, EW. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, I do have sensors. I've only got it at eleven, but I do have that that electronic ops skill. It says it provides a digital readout of targets, heat altitude. It searches a fan-shaped area, 120 degrees. Anything rat size or larger. So you'll get a bunch of blips on your screen of moving yeah. items. It's it's and yeah, you have to switch to imaging mode. And then you can switch to imaging mode to like get more detail on any one specific target. How big is that? What is at that? One, at, at one tenth the range. Um that one is I think it was only a couple pounds at the most. Let me see. It's a small radar, yeah, one pound. It's pretty damn it says small. It's a 10, 10 mile range for search, one mile range imaging mode. Uh, it's handheld version, or it can mount on the shoulder and plug into a HUD if you have it. It's totally the alien. Gives you a plus three to hit. The quirk is while you're using it, you have to say stay on target. Oh, that's well, maybe. Got movement all around us. Bosco needs to be a gadgeteer. He's already a doctor. I, I thought Tina, I thought Tina had that kind of stuff. So I, I was just like, I, I I kind of envisioned myself as like the procurer, like, but you know, not necessarily using the items. But I'm like, hey, I got this cool thing, you know. Now Tina okay. actually does not have gadget here. She's got a whole bunch of other stuff though. She fixes things. She doesn't design them. Because the force speaks to her in mysterious ways. Right, so uh, we'll get under under like some concealment or something like that. To hide the hide the vehicles. Try to get eyes on. <laughs> oh my God, what is that from, Daniel? Riddick. Okay, yeah, because that's super ridiculous looking. Uh, Tina, can I get you to make an IQ roll into the box, please? Why, Tina? Do you just like her better? Yes. He okay, likes that, my valid. dice better. <laughs> Okay, yeah, that that's also valid. My dice make his job more fun. All right. Tina, you feel something you haven't felt since you were in the presence of your mother. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, no. It's a weird sensation. It's like tingling in the back of your neck. Um, there's something weird. Oh yeah, they found Kyber here. Yeah, she's she's gonna like reach up and feel the back of her neck, and it's like all of her hackles are raised, and the hairs on the back of her neck are standing straight up. And this... she's just gonna say, "I've got a bad feeling about this." Nice. Take a drink, everybody. We're all taking a drink. <laughs> but it does, yeah, it does sort of make you think about. Your uh, your mother. Okay, so does it is it just a general feeling, or can she feel it's kind of coming from a specific direction? It's uh, just a general feeling. Seems to be the area that you're in. Um, you didn't really notice anything before, but that could have been just the adrenaline from the chase and and such. But now that you've stopped and you've had a chance to calm down. You didn't have any post-combat shakes? Nope. So, yeah, once you chilled a bit, you started... This is familiar. Now, don't get jittery, kid. <laughs> she's she's just going to, you know, y'all see her, like, reach up and feel, like, the back of her neck. And she's like, I don't know. I've got a really weird, weird feeling here. There's something special here, I think. I don't know what it is, but... Well, what can we see? Um, all right, so you're going to move into an observation point. I'll get the group stealth roll from, I guess, Nim. Stand by. Stealth away. Wow. God, well, not see us. Crap. 
um, well, you get a really good vantage point and uh, begin to observe. Uh, There's a from... big uh, billboard behind us that has four guys laying down with macro binoculars. Not with a by 12. No, it's been there for months, so. Gotcha. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Hang on, since it is a little bit since it is a contest. Let me see. Oh, no, I don't have a perception of fifteen. Well you get plus critical penalties. Was yeah. His critical was better. Uh so you will see a facility that looks on face value a regular sort of mining operation. There's mine vehicles around. Actually I can share the map I showed before. I guess we're all pretty familiar with what a mining operation looks like. Speak for yourself. Whether we've uh, participated in it or not. Oh, yeah. Okay, that's true. I have uh, studied several of those, you know, doing the whole, all right, if I'm going to plant explosives, I need to plant them here and here and here. So it seems like a standard mining operation. The only thing that sets this one apart is there is a heavy um, blaster cannon situated um, at a sort of overwatch vantage point. Um, and there is a few troopers that sort of guard and patrol the area. Okay, so studying the uh, the, the troopers, is there anything unique about their, their uh, armor equipment? Uh, but since, you know, can probably look at it and determine okay these are standard stormtroopers or maybe these are like rad troopers or flame troopers or etc etc how long do you guys plan to stick around or how long are you casing this place um i don't know uh at least 10 minutes okay well, fortunately like for you days, uh <laughs> you will see that they are in the 10 or so minutes that you observe they are your standard sort of stormtroopers however you will see um dudes in plain imperial uniforms so neither army um nor navy okay what sort of, does that imply just standard sort of troops like Exil auxiliary troops, Medication. not soldiers, technicians, gotcha, and the sort. Okay, so clearly we're so they will they will sort of come and go. Are we still above the uh, zone where we need respirators? Uh, mm, you will need respirators. Yes, you left the city, and they're wearing them. Yes, they are. And this I will assume like that you have respirators. Mining operation is what you said. Looks like from the is. initial appearance, it looks like a plain old mining operation, except it is now guarded and fortified somewhat with a sort of heavy blaster cannon um, mounted from an elevated position. The blast cannon is not currently manned. Okay, so that looked like it was added. It wasn't, this wasn't purpose built with a gun. Uh, correct. Definitely not purpose built. Interesting. So I think we probably just need you know to, to verify. We probably need to get eyes on the other location, see if it is the same way, or if it is like you know, basically abandoned. Um, I think Luck is going to leave his droid present uh, to continue like recording. But it's not going to go airborne or anything like that. He's going to like you know, conceal it where it's got uh, the the field of view. Just continue to study. So he's basically just using it as like a, uh, a as a video camera. Right up. And then you investigate the other spot. Yeah, and I think then we'll we'll sneak away, go investigate the other spot, see if it is also like this. All right. So long story short. The other spot you investigate is totally abandoned and looks like it's been abandoned for a while. Um, yeah, we, the, may, we may actually enter it very, very briefly to, to confirm that that's not an illusion, but then 
return. Probably we we need to get in here somehow. But that's while, a lot of troops. While you're away, um, your droid. Uh, what was your droid's name? It doesn't have a name. It's equipment. So your droid will whistle and beep through your your com. Yep. Um, getting your attention, you'll flick your your view to what it's seeing, and yeah, Vader. you will see and he's an Imperial shuttle um, land. Jackpot. As you watch the shuttle land. You will see a bunch of these technician type guys pushing a um, repulsor sled with uh, container boxes on top of the sled and they load it into the shuttle. After that stuff is loaded, the uh, shuttle will then uh, lift off and depart. And the technicians go back inside uh, the correct where okay okay yeah we definitely however need to get in there somehow. i need you to make a uh an iq roll no need for the perception just need an iq to understand what you saw Ugh. iq or intelligence analysis uh iq but naturally i had to roll a 16 so i failed by four so, Hopefully I can continue to study it uh, and maybe I'll go, oh, crap, why didn't I think of that? Well, yeah, if you um, if you show footage to others, since it is a recording. Yeah, yeah, that, I have no problem with that. And it's like, well, uh, actually, that would make perfect sense where it's like, since it's a Star Wars droid, uh, it's video camera stuff is basically a freaking hologram. And, you know, so it's like I can just, Play mm, the uh, stuff so everybody can uh, look at it. All right, so everyone can make that IQ log. One of you needs to not fail. Let's see what three. we can do. Two of you didn't fail. Can Bosco make that three so I'll feel like a complete dummy? Uh, well, regardless of what Bosco's roll, IQ roll is, uh, those of you will notice that at least one of those containers, not all containers were the same at least one of those containers looked like it had a uh, sort of glass window on top and as far as you could tell uh, there may have been a face on the other side of that glass container Is that or that glass uh, window coming out? coming out yes oh god they found the Star Wars equivalent of the proto molecule yeah, that'd be about right. And the container is, of course, long enough to fit a uh, a body. Well, that's not saying much in Star Wars. I mean, Jawas, Ewoks. Human body. That, that little bat thing that wanted the drink and A New Hope. Actually, to be more Star Warsy, it might be even frozen in carbonite. Okay, so given that... Uh, Bosco may have more specific knowledge about what that is. Oh, yeah. If it's like a, a diagnostic bed or if it's like a uh -huh. cryo bed or, or something like that. Um, yeah, make an electronics op medical for Bosco. Did the dice just freeze? That was the, weird. That was Yeah, super the weird. dice just freeze. Great. Um, role, though. You are fairly certain that it is some sort of cryo chamber or stasis stasis slash cryo chamber it's a stasis box i have no idea if that's the thing i just like the name would that be typical of just you know just a full-on fully equipped medical uh off, you know hospital whatever lab or is, is that, that standard kind of medical gear or is that specialized uh yeah, i guess yeah, it's kind of specialized stuff. And definitely yeah, out of place in a mine. Lab, they... Okay, yeah, that was the question. Yeah, definitely need to get in there and find out what the heck they're doing. So can we, we can count the, the sentries? Uh, yeah, or make note of sentries. How many? How many stormtroopers? 
Uh, what's my standard squad size? In one second. And then also just kind of observe patterns. I don't know if we're going to watch them long enough to see, like, for hours, for example, how long well, they're doing shifts or whatever. Sometime while we're gonna my standard stormtrooper squad is one sergeant, one heavy trooper, and four normal troopers. So there's six doing patrols. Some standing guards, some walking around. Okay. But that's just what we can see out, outside. That's outside, yes. Um, what about other military gear around here? We don't have, like, a bunch of walkers parked or speeders or... No, but I guess you can... Anything like that. You can hear in the distance a walker probably approaching, like the one that you had to evade. Right. But other than the the big gun, um, there's no machinery that's military in nature. Okay. It is possible that, you know, some heavy vehicles and stuff could be inside. There is sufficient room uh, inside the facility for it. Yeah, we're going well, to observe the location for a while, figure out the best uh, best way to, to gain entry without simply going and shooting because we don't have the numbers or the firepower for that. Well, they're going to... They're going to know that those scout troopers aren't coming back at some point in the very near future, so... Yes, but they also... We are going to have to that, move uh, out. Yeah, you know, no, we're not going to be... We're not going to necessarily remain in the location or anything. But they're also aware that they are... Uh, they, they've been fighting people in town for a while. Yeah, and the people in town haven't been making very much progress, apparently. Yeah. So Doesn't mean they can't get lucky. A couple of guys. Yeah, so, hmm, that's going to be a tough nut to crack, you know, because they've they're got good, solid uh, uh, defense choke points. If I had a proper squad, I could do it easily. Well, you got a jetpack. Proper Just squad. Grab the heavy and troopers. You hear that, people? He's calling you guys not proper. No, that track. Yeah, I don't. I'm not very proper, to be fair. That would be kind of funny. Get up there on that that big old yeah, gun. Yeah, jetpack and... over. Grab the heavy, turn it on them. Done. Gunner beams thirteen. I'm better at that than you. That doesn't surprise me. I've only got two points in it. I've only got one. Yeah, your dex is higher. I think that is definitely true. But um, yeah. So we're gonna have to. Man, we're gonna have to find out more information about this location. Uh, so this was a regular mining facility that the imps have basically taken over. As far as you can sort of work out, it used to be right. a mining facility. Looks like a so, mining facility, but there's now imps here. Right. So Ronan is the our our in. Uh, does right. he know more? information about who owned this place or anything like that i mean is there some way we could get plans uh for it uh you could get some plans he can uh he could chase down that information if you recall the the mines each city is like a city state which right. is a, a corporate entity so all these mines are you know, sort of belong to the, the city-state corporation. Gotcha. So you could find those uh, those details easy enough. You'd have to sneak into one of the offices in the in Alice, um, but you could get, you know, maps of the mine. Well, if we can do that, they may have records of stuff that's happened over there. Luck would know that... The imps, when it comes to stuff like this, they would be fairly thorough, and they would have, if they've, if there's something here, they would have, you know, removed that intel. In just looking at the PCs, there's at least one of us. Nope, there's two PC active PCs who could not dress up like stormtroopers and just sort of, you know, sneak in. No. And at least one of us, 
one of the three that could theoretically do so would be like, man, why is that stormtrooper so tiny? And when, why is the armor pink? I can't wear a pinhead sized helmet. So Ronan will um, say, what do you think's going on? They found something or someone. I want to know what? Whatever they found, it was important enough to kill everybody. Well, For they fun. didn't. They didn't kill everyone. They evacuated yeah, yeah. most of Palace. Only those that stayed, they were hunting down and killing, except those that they captured. Oh, yeah, I missed that. Okay, right. I retract my previous statement. I can't speak for our, our entire group, but I'm pretty sure that there's a number of us that are willing to help um, help you find out whatever it is you need, need to find out. We're not soldiers, so we're not going to be too much help there, but we know how to use a, a blaster. And he might also be thinking, and I'm not sure if you guys need help with the soldiering thing. They've this is true. survived the stormtrooper assault for months. So, trial by fire. But that's good. We'll they be... mostly come out at night. Mostly. Okay. So, uh, I feel like uh, we're not planning on hitting this place right away. Oh, good no, good God no. Um, I mean, we could always just play it by ear. Not at eight fifty-two. Yes, you don't. We don't have time to really do anything else. But you can d certainly work out what your next plan is yeah we want uh the the, the first the first uh the, the the primary key of successful operations is intelligence we need to we need to gather intel figure out a way to get in there without facing everybody at the same time yeah so while we uh set the droid or leave the droid where it is go back to the palace and Hit the records. Yeah. I don't know what else we could do Let other than that. Somebody else has uh, suggestions. Library montage. Uh, what is the speed of Imperial transports? I think they're like 12, 1200 miles an hour, something like that. Fluctuates, depends on what kind of transport you're talking Actually, about. We'll just say a thousand. So, um, if there was backup called from Minerva, then it would take, I think, around about 40 minutes to get here. So something oh. to keep in mind as well. Well, how far away is it? Uh, it's like I don't think we actually 600 and something that. miles. Okay. So... Yeah, that's going to take them hardly any time to get here. So, uh, on the op org, uh, in the mental operations order that that luck is going to formulate, uh, Step one is to return the favor uh, to these ass clowns and sabotage slash destroy their comm relay. That would be sensible. Although it will put them on alert. No, I mean, right as we're about to do whatever it oh, is we're going right. to do. Gotcha. So it's like you go, ah, F you guys. How does it feel? Well, an Imperial Lander shuttle is six, 850 kilometers per hour. So what's that in miles? So less than an hour. Uh, miles are like two thirds. So if you made it nine hundred, it'd be about six hundred miles. Yeah. Yep. 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 So do we have anything else other than the uh, other than the records? We've got video surveillance. What else could we do? Electron or uh, SIGINT. I don't know if we have that capability. So they were unable to communicate between Palace and this place. So we would have to get some kind of relay set up. Give me a... We're going to try to listen in here. Give me a perception roll. Actually, no. No need. You look around and you do see that they do have a communication array set up. It is not a um, a fixed... Array, this is something that's been set up post um, Portable. the facility. Yep. Backup would be about an hour away or a little over an hour. Right. Well, 
Time to start making plans, I guess. Well, okay, we still have the issue of we've, they've just lost people. And so when are they going to figure that out? Uh, there was a walker that saw the spikes being chased. So Ooh, we should steal the walker. Not now, but later. So the walker, I presume, was in a position where it was also not able to communicate. But we have left it behind. You will assume that it will eventually report in that, you know, two speeders were engaged by four, no, five others. So maybe some damn pirates. And then those scouts won't report in. So eventually they'll work out what's what's happened. They don't have issues with raiders or anything like that out here, I presume. And Not really, no. Wars. I'm certain they have some somewhere. Okay, so we can assume so they already skill? know that happened. What skill is that? Skill for what? Sorry, I'm talking to myself. Mecca. Okay, so driving uh, driving a walker would be basically be driving oh. Mecca. Yes. Sweet. I may have to, you know, get that down the road. That's true. So I can you probably drive a walker. You probably would have had it because you clones get around on the, um, was it the yeah. AT? TE? Yeah. Yeah. I think that's TE. The ones Make they sort of stand on. Clones do all sorts of crazy stuff. So if you don't have the skill, I guess your uh, years not in the service, um, it's been a long time since you've been on one of those. Yep. His MOS basically kept him more in the field because he's more like, you know, Marine Force Recon slash uh, LERPs. And, and so he wasn't doing a lot of uh, hanging around uh, armored vehicles. That might be uh, that might be a good usage of soldier, actually, uh, just to be able to start it up, get it from here to there. No combat use. Well, that would... That would also be default, considering that um, you don't have to make yeah, rolls unless that. you're... I guess it depends on what your defaults are. Yeah, but you don't need to make rolls unless you're doing something complicated. Um, in any case, that's pretty much time. Unless there's anything yeah, else yeah, that uh... you guys want to um, want to address before we wrap it up. Otherwise, we'll do it next week. Yeah, I can't think of anything off the top of my head. We have no Wookiee. You can always go back and get him. He should lend us his bowcaster. He can't refuse since he's not here. <laughs> yeah, that's that's all okay. I can think of. I can't think of anything. Two points. Cool, cool. And no one died, unfortunately. Two people died. Yeah, but they're supposed to die. They're stormtroopers. Nobody likes him anyway. Um, any character business before we wrap it up? You're spending your points or waiting till next week? Uh, mm. I'm going to hold off. I've got to figure out if I'm going to spend anything. Yeah, same here. I, I will say plans. that I don't know if like we're wrapping it up and we're like doing our research and then crashing for the night, but I did want to have... um the uh tina's um nightmares disadvantage and go ahead and either fail that or critically fail that based off of the experience and stuff that reminded her of uh, her mom all right so you will choose to fail that yeah i was considering doing like doing just choosing to critically fail it as well so Assuming she will we be overnight. yeah all right, so if you guys overnight, then that will happen. You will critically fail. What's the effect of a critical fail? You need to make a nightmare sequence. Yeah. A dream um, sequence. Hang on, I looked it up. So it is extremely vivid. Like, it's hard to distinguish from reality. Um, she will lose one fatigue point for the entire day. And if she critically fails it, then she wakes up shaking and she's at minus one to, ev to skill and perception rolls for the entire day, in addition to loss of the 
fatigue point. Yeah, the night oh, paragraph so. is where it's the best. It's like the nightmares can be so vivid that they're indistinguishable from reality. The GM might choose to play them out in a game, starting out like a nor- normal scenario and steadily becoming more horrible. Yep. Yeah, I was going to ask you, did we ever bring up that uh, Rigel did that to Com Junkie once? I totally did. No, but that's Wars. pretty awesome. Yeah, it was it was great. It's like we, uh, it was D20, I think. I don't remember what it was, but it's like a, a military unit. Uh, but it was like, you know, in the, uh, the New Republic. And they had just gone through like two different characters for a certain role who just died and in the, the course of action and he was going to be the new replacement and i started the game out in media rest with then everybody on a combat mission and the, the plan was originally to steadily wipe people out except for him because he was going to be in charge uh, i think he was in charge i can't remember now uh but uh we we got a late start so i just you know started out and like killed like three or four pcs and he's just like looking away he's like wait what's going on <laughs> it that's was amazing but he he told us all ahead of time that he was going to do that except mark cool Good so time. tina might find herself walking in a cave and suddenly um Darth, all of us an inquisitor are... an inquisitor turns up or the entire group in a in the middle of a firefight and everybody dying around her. She yep. swings a wrench and it knocks her face off and it's her own face. Something like that. Yeah. Um, all right. If you are watching this and have questions, corrections, suggestions, or general hecklings, feel free to leave a comment here or find us on Discord. Please consider liking and, and subscribing to our YouTube and Twitch channels. Thank you for watching. Olympus out.